Hello everyone, welcome back to GK Today. This is Nuzhat Sana and here is the compilation video for the whole month of April. And we have created it so that you can have access to all the questions that were discussed on this channel in the month of April. The source of these questions is GK Today's daily MCQ series in the Android application. So if you wish to access the text version along with the interactive quiz to solve for the current affair, you may consider joining this series in the GK Today's Android application. So now without taking much of your time, let's get started. Which country recently approved a bill to provide $52 billion in subsidies for the semiconductor chips manufacturing? So the US Senate passed a bill to provide $52 billion in subsidies for the semiconductor chips manufacturing. And the legislation was sent to the House of Representatives to launch a formal process known as conference. Okay, so the chip shortage has disrupted production across the globe as we know. So the Senate earlier passed chips legislation in the month of June 2021 that also authorized $190 billion to strengthen the US technology and research. Okay, next question. Indian Agriculture Towards 2030 book was launched by Niti Aayog along with which institution? So Union Minister for Agriculture and the Farmers Welfare, Mr. Narendra Singh Tomer, released a book titled as Indian Agriculture Towards 2030, Pathways for Enhancing Farmers Income, Nutritional Security and Sustainable Food and Farm Systems. Okay. So this book captures the outcomes of the dialogue by Niti Aayog and the Ministries of Agriculture and Farmers Welfare and Fisheries, Animal Husbandry and Dairy and was facilitated by the Food and Agricultural Organization of the United Nations. You have to tell me where does the headquarters of FAO lie. Next question. The Pradhan Mantri Sangrahale is located in which state or union territory? So Pradhan Mantri Sangrahale which is a kind of museum that has been dedicated to Prime Ministers of India is said to be inaugurated on 14th of April to coincide with Bhim Rao Ambedkar's birth anniversary and it has been built on 10,000 square meter land adjacent to the Nehru Memorial Museum in Delhi and this museum covers the life and times of all the 14 Indian Prime Ministers so far. So the museum which is being built at a cost of 271 crore rupees was approved in the year 2018 and it is to be built in New Delhi. Fine. Next question. The Constitution ST Order Amendment Bill was recently passed to include Darlong Tribal Clan in the ST list in which particular state. So the Lok Sabha passed a bill to include the Darlong which is a tribal clan in Tripura in the list of scheduled tribes and the constitution order amendment bill 2022 was an amendment to the constitution scheduled tribes order 1950 and this bill which was tabled in the parliament by union tribals affair minister arjun munda sought to include the darlong community as a sub tribe of the kuki tribal community okay next question which city is the host of the Mega International Summit on MSMEs 2022? So Ministry of MSME, Government of India and the Entrepreneurship Development Institute of India, Ahmedabad have together organized a Mega International Summit on MSMEs at the India International Centre, New Delhi. Okay. So this two-day summit was attended by entrepreneurs, academicians, policy makers, industry leaders, industry associations, startups, social impact organizations, MSMEs and self-help groups from India and across the world. Okay. Next question. A new project to enhance climate resilience of coastal communities has been initiated across which states? So the center has initiated a project across the states of Andhra Pradesh, Maharashtra and Odisha to enhance the climate resilience of 
coastal communities and the project has been undertaken at a total cost of 130 million dollars or you can say 1000 crore rupees which includes a grant of 43 million dollars by the global climate fund okay so it covers 24 ecosystems in these states to protect and restore the natural ecosystems like mangroves and sea grasses okay next question which indian personality has featured in the time 100 impact awards so indian actor deepika padukone was honored at the time 100 impact awards for her work on mental health through her organization named as live love love foundation okay so this is the second honor by the time magazine for her and talking about the time 100 impact award it honors the global leaders who have gone above and beyond to move their industries and the world forward okay which is the first indian city to get a road that is made of steel waste so surat has become the first in india to get a road that is made out of steel waste and it is seen as an example of sustainable development so the road is built by arkelor mittai nippon steel india with csir that is council of scientific and industrial research crri means central road research institute with support from ministry of steel and government think tank niti ayog right next question varnika ink manufacturing unit of bharti reserve bank note mudran private limited has been inaugurated in which city so rbi governor shakti kant das dedicated varnika to the nation in mysore and it is a wholly owned subsidiary of reserve bank of india so this has set up the varnika with an annual ink manufacturing capacity of 1500 metric tons to enhance the security of bank notes and it aims to achieve the cost efficiency and reduced import dependency fine next question bali cotton is a joint military drills held between the forces of us and which country so the defense forces of us and the philippines launched their largest joint military drills in the philippines named as bali cotton 2022 and this 12 day war games involve nearly 9000 filipino and american soldiers so it will cover the maritime security life free training various type of operations and counter terrorism as well as humanitarian assistance and disaster relief okay first question sariska tiger reserve which was seen in the news is located in which particular state so massive fire has recently broken out in the sariska tiger reserve which is located in the alwar district in the state of rajasthan so air force helicopters equipped with water sprays are battling the fire as the 8 to 10 square kilometer area in the akbarpur range has been affected and sariska tiger reserve has a total of 27 tigers and as per the forest officials the cause of fire is yet to be ascertained fine next question jal shakti abhiyan catch the rain campaign was first launched in which year so the president of india ramnath kovin presented the third national water awards and launched the jal shakti abhiyan catch the rain campaign 2022 in new delhi so the government of india in the year 2019 launched the jal shakti abhiyan and in the same year jal jeevan mission was also launched later on on 22nd of march in the year 2021 On World Water Day, the Jal Shakti Abhiyan Catch the Rain campaign was launched to urge the citizens to conserve water. Okay, so answer would be twenty twenty one. Can you tell me what was the theme for World Water Day for the year twenty twenty two? Do let me know in the comments. Next question: The Great Wall of India and the second longest wall of the world is located in which state or union territory? So Kumbhalgarh, also known as the Great Wall of India. is a fort on the range of aravalli hills 
near the Udaipur of Rajasthan state and it is the second longest wall of the world after the Great Wall of China fine so the formation of Rajasthan on 30th of March is celebrated as Rajasthan Divas because on 30th of March in the year 1949 the princely states of Jodhpur Jaipur Jaisalmer and Bikaner merged to form the Greater Rajasthan Union and 2022 marks the 73 years of Rajasthan Divas okay next question who has been appointed as the chairman and managing director of infrastructure leasing and financial services so the union government has appointed C S Rajan as the chairman and MD of infrastructure leasing and financial services for a period of total 6 months so till march end the company has resolved debt amounting to 55000 crore rupees out of which 21000 crore rupees has been discharged by way of monetization of asset and debt repayment so the resolved debt amounts to 90% of the total debt that was expected to be resolved fine next question which indian state or union territory has announced vinay samras yojana so as i have told you that the karnataka government has announced this particular yojana which is a kind of awareness program meant to eradicate untouchability in the gram panchayats across the state and this scheme has been named after a 3 year old dalit boy vinay whose family was slapped a fine of 25000 rupees by the village leaders last year for the boys act of entering into a local temple okay next question which institution launched the dslsa legal aid clinic to provide free legal assistance to the women so the national commission for women in collaboration with delhi state legal services authority has launched a legal aid clinic and it will act as a single window facility for resolving the grievances of women by offering them free legal assistance and women can access the facility to access free legal advice and counseling where legal services advocates in the panel of dsl sa will help women okay so this is the initiative of national commission for women next question which country is the host of fifth bimstec summit in 2022 so the full form of bimstec is way of bengal initiative for multi sectoral technical and economic cooperation and the fifth bimstec summit was hosted virtually by sri lanka who is the current chairperson as well so prime minister narendra modi attended the conference virtually and announced 1 million dollars in help to promote the budget of the bimstec secretariat and the theme of the colombo summit is bimstec towards a resilient region prosperous economies and healthy peoples fine next question which country proposed 1.8 billion dollars to support a free and secure indo pacific region so us president joe biden proposed 1.8 billion dollars to support free and open and secure indo pacific region and the indo pacific strategy so also he proposed 400 million dollars for the chinese malin influence fund and the funds were announced as a part of 773 billion dollars annual defense budget which basically prioritized the china as the department facing challenge fine next question what is the rank of india in the huron global under 40 self made billionaires 2022 so in the huron global under 40 self made billionaires 2022 india has been ranked at fourth place and the country that tops this list is usa with 37 billionaires then it is followed by china with 25 and at third place it is uk so india had six under 40 self made billionaires and globally there are 87 self made billionaires up eight in year and almost this is double in previous five years do you remember that mark zuckerberg is the world's number 
under 40 years, total 76 billion dollars. And TikTok founder Zhang Yiming ranks at second place. Okay. First question: Which section of railways has completed 100% electrification across the zone? So the Konkan Railway has recently completed 100% electrification across the zone and it has set new benchmarks for sustainable development. So the Konkan Railway has completed the electrification work on its complete 741 kilometers long route between Roha in Maharashtra and Thokur in Karnataka. Okay, And the cost of this electrification project is nearly 1000 287 crore rupees. Fine. Next question. Assam recently signed a memorandum of understanding with which state to resolve the differences in the state border. So recently Meghalaya and Assam have signed a memorandum of understanding in which 18.33 square kilometer will be with Meghalaya while 18.46 square kilometer will be with Assam. Okay, and this is out of the total 36.79 square kilometer in respect to the 6 out of 12 areas of differences claimed by the government of Meghalaya in the year 2011. Fine. Next question Which is the venue of the Indian Ocean Naval Symposium Maiden Maritime Exercise 2022? So, the Indian Ocean Naval Symposium held its Maiden Maritime Exercise at Goa and in Arabian Sea. So 22 observers from 15 IONS member navies including Australia, Bangladesh, France, India, Sri Lanka, UAE and UK participated in this exercise. And IMX 22 was conducted in two phases basically with harbour phase at Mormugaon port and then sea phase in the Arabian Sea. Okay. Next question. Shahi Lichi earned the GI tag from which Indian state? I think it is a very easy question. The center through APEDA. APEDA means Agricultural and Processed Food Export Development Authority is facilitating trial shipments into new global markets for Indian GI tagged agricultural product. And Bihar's GI tag product Shahi Lichi was exported from Muzaffarpur district of Bihar to London last year. And as on date, there are 417 registered GI products and among them around 150 GI tag products are agricultural and food export. Fine. Talking about some of the important GI tags from Bihar, first is Silao Khaja, then Madhubani painting, Jardalu, mangoes, etc. Right? Next question. The Unbox Me campaign, which was launched recently, is associated with which day? So, International Transgender Day of Visibility is observed on 31st of March every year, and USAID launched an initiative called Unbox Me campaign, which advocates for the rights of transgender children and it aims to raise awareness among the parents, teachers and the society about the gender identity during childhood. So the campaign originated in India where more than 90% of transgender people leave their homes or sent out by the age of 15 years. Fine. Next question. As per the data from the Reserve Bank of India, which bank recorded the highest value of frauds in April to December 2021. So according to the data from the RBI, a total of 27 scheduled commercial banks and financial institutions have reported 96 cases of fraud during this much time period and amount that was involved in it was 34,097 crore rupees. While Punjab National Bank recorded the highest value of frauds worth 4,800 20 crore rupees. Next question. Which racing driver won the Saudi Arabian Grand Prix 2022? So Belgian Dutch racing driver Max 
Verstappen won the Saudi Arabian Grand Prix 2022 and he won the intense battle with Charles Leclerc to take his first victory of this season. At third place, it was Carlos Sainz and at fourth, Sergio Perez took it. Do you remember that Lewis Hamilton finished at 10th in this ranking? Okay, next question. Which state has approved renewable energy policy 2022 to 27? So the state cabinet of Karnataka has approved the renewable energy policy and it aims for developing the state as a hub of renewable energy generation as well as manufacturing of equipment that are related to the renewable energy. And the policy also seeks to upgrade the renewable energy generation capacity of the state to 10 gigawatt in the next five years. And this also includes one gigawatt of rooftop solar energy. Fine. Next question. Which Indian state launched Mukhya Mantri Nibir Matsya Chash Prakal? So Tripura Chief Minister Biplap Kumar Dev recently launched this particular scheme and it is a kind of integrated fishery scheme. So Tripura government has allocated 6 crore rupees in the budget for promotion and support to the bioflock technology for the fish production and chief minister also pushed for bioflock fish farming as a environmental friendly technique for fish farming okay so this yojana belongs to the state tripura next question which is the first union territory of india to launch its my government platform so jammu and kashmir is the india's first union territory to launch its my government platform and it was launched by Lieutenant Governor Mr. Manoj Sinha. So this platform aims for citizen engagement and achieve the goal of good governance. So it was launched by the Prime Minister Narendra Modi in the year 2014 and at present my government has more than 2.29 crore registered users named as my government Sathis. Fine. Also do remember that Jammu Kashmir is also the first union territory of India to implement the good governance index at district level, right? Now let's start. Which institution releases the state of world population report? So United Nations Population Fund, UNFPA, recently released this particular report. And as per this report, nearly half of all the pregnancies, which amounts to 121 million each year throughout the world are totally unintended okay so globally an estimated 257 million women who want to avoid the pregnancy are not using safe and the modern methods of contraception okay next question which institution launched the digital platform called faster and faster stands for fast and secured transmission of electronic records so the Chief Justice of India, Mr. N. V. Ramana, launched the digital platform faster. And this platform would be used by the court officials to instantly send e-copies of the orders to the intended parties through a secured electronic communication channel. Okay. So basically it covers all types of orders of the court. So answer is the Supreme Court of India. Fine. Next question. Which country recently signed Emmett Till Anti-Lynching Act into the law? So US President Joe Biden signed this particular bill as he made lynching a federal hate crime. So nearly 4,743 persons were lynched between 1882 and 1968. Important thing is 3,446 among them were the cases of black okay so this act was named after the murder of a 14 year old black boy from chicago by a group of white men in mississippi in the year 1955 as he was alleged to have whistled at a white woman fine next question miss anaxite and buddhas of bamiya which were seen in the news recently are located in which country so these two sites are located in Afghanistan 
Basically, the Taliban regime in Afghanistan has announced that it would protect the ancient Buddha statues in Mes Ayanak. Also, it is a copper mine site where the Taliban are hoping for Chinese investment and UNESCO included the remains of Bamiya Buddhas in its list of World Heritage Site in the year 2003. Basically, when Taliban ruled Afghanistan, they destructed the centuries-old Buddha statues in Bamiya using artillery, explosives and rockets. Fine. So now rest of the Bamiya Buddha is present in World Heritage Site. Fine. Next question. Ambedkar Young Entrepreneur Mentor Program is a new scheme of which union ministry? So the Venture Capital Fund Scheme was implemented by the Ministry of Social Justice and Empowerment. Why? To help aspiring entrepreneurs belonging to SCs and OBCs to get new business. Fine. So as the performance of the scheme is not satisfactory, the ministry is set to launch a mentorship program named as Ambedkarian Entrepreneurship Mentor. Okay. So the IFCI Venture, which is the VCF Manager, will impanel businessmen or heads of the companies or the veterans of banking and financial institutions as the mentors of this newly made entrepreneurs. Okay. India signed a memorandum of understanding with which country to set up Maritime Rescue Coordination Center. So India and Sri Lanka have signed a memorandum of understanding for the Indian public sector Bharat Electronics Limited to set up a state of the art maritime rescue coordination center where in Colombo. So this agreement is a part of India's Sagar initiative in the Indian Ocean and Sagar stands for security and growth for all in the region. right? So this MOU enhances the cooperation on maritime security between the two countries in a part of this Indian Ocean region. Okay. Next question. Which state won the best state award at the National Water Awards 2022? So President Ramnath Kovind recently awarded the best state award at the National Water Awards 2022 and Uttar Pradesh topped among all the Indian states in terms of water conservation while it was followed by Rajasthan at second place and then at third place it was Tamil Nadu. Right? So Muzaffar Nagar in Uttar Pradesh, Thiruvananthapuram in Kerala, East Champaran from Bihar and Indore in the state Madhya Pradesh topped in the best district category for the North Zone, South Zone, East Zone and West Zone respectively. Okay. Next question. Which organization recently flight tested the medium range surface to air missile? So the Defense Research and Development Organization has flight tested two more rounds of the medium range surface to air missiles of the coast of Odisha. So these were test fired from the integrated test range launch pad 3 of the coast of Odisha at Chandipur. And earlier the army version of these missiles were test fired from the ITR and now further tests have been conducted. Fine. Next question. Which organization manufactures the Light Combat Helicopter Limited series production which is an indigenously developed combat helicopter? So the Cabinet Committee on Security approved the procurement of 15 indigenously developed Light Combat Helicopters at a cost of 3,887 crore rupees. So Defense Ministry said that the 10 helicopters will be for the Indian Air Force and 5 will be for the Indian Army. So Light Combat Helicopter Limited Series Production is an indigenously developed combat helicopter that contains around 45% of indigenous content by value which are developed by Hindustan Aeronautics Limited. Okay. Next question. Varuna is the bilateral naval exercise between India and which other country? So India and France recently commenced their 20th edition of the bilateral naval exercise named as Varuna where in the Arabian Sea. So naval ships submarines. So naval ships 
submarines, maritime patrol aircraft, fighter aircraft and helicopters of the two navies are participating in this exercise and this bilateral naval exercise between the two navies were initiated in the year 1993. Okay, let's start. India recently signed an economic cooperation and the trade agreement with which country? So India and Australia signed an economic cooperation and the trade agreement which seeks to provide duty access to the 96% of India's exports to the Australia. Okay, so the exports include engineering goods, gems and jewelry, textiles, apparel and leather. Fine. So this pack is expected to boost the bilateral trade in goods and services to 45 to 50 billion dollars over five years and generate over 1 million jobs as well in India. Fine. Next question. Which Asian country has declared a nationwide public emergency amidst the protest over economic crisis. So Sri Lankan President Gotabaya Rajapaksha has declared a nationwide public emergency amidst the protest over the worst economic crisis in the Sri Lanka. So the Special Gazette notification declared a public emergency in Sri Lanka with immediate effect from 1st of April. And the residents are facing shortages in fuel, cooking gas, essentials in short supply and long hours of power cuts. Fine. So correct answer is option number C. Next question. Sajibu Nongma Panba is a traditional festival of which Indian state? So this is a traditional festival for the followers of Sena Mahism religion in the state of Manipur as a lunar new year. Okay. So this day is mostly observed on the first day of the lunar month of Sajibu, also known as Sijubu Cheroba. So this festival is celebrated by the Mitei people who are one of the largest ethnic communities there in the state of Manipur. Okay. Next question. Which city hosted the Global Collaboration Advanced Vaccinology Training Meeting? So this meeting was recently held in Geneva in Switzerland and in the meeting the need for a basic vaccinology training module for healthcare personnel across the world was discussed. So India was represented by Dr. N. K. Arora who is the head of the COVID-19 working group in the National Immunization Technical Advisory Group and this group makes vaccine recommendations on the basis of disease burden, efficacy, and cost effectiveness. Fine. Next question. What is the theme of the World Autism Awareness Day 2022? So this day aims to create awareness about the obstacles that people with autism face every day. And each year, this day is observed on 2nd of April globally to spread awareness about autism spectrum disorder fine so it is a kind of neurodevelopmental disorder that distorts the communication and social interaction skills of a person and this year the theme for this day is inclusion in the workplace okay next question as per a recent report which country has the lowest rate of insurance penetration across the asia so a recent report prepared by environmental platform climate trend has pointed out that India has the lowest rate of insurance penetration across Asia and the Indian insurance companies were among the worst performers scoring below 10% for the quality of their disclosures. So Indian insurance companies fail to pay close to, to three fourths of the claimed amount for Cyclone Ampan which hit the West Bengal during May last year. Next question, which state passed a bill seeking to regulate stray cattle in the urban areas of the state? So the Gujarat government's bill which seeks to regulate stray cattle in the urban areas of the state was passed by majority in the assembly. So the Gujarat Cattle Control in Urban Areas Bill 2022 mentions the threat stray cattle 
posed to those riding two wheelers the new bill when it becomes a law will be applicable in eight major cities of gujarat which are these ahmedabad vadodara surat rajkot gandhinagar jamnagar bhavnagar and junagadh okay next question which city is the host of khelo india university games 2021 so union minister for youth affairs and sports mr anurag thakur has launched the logo jersey mascot and anthem of the khelo india university games so the mascot is an elephant named as veera and usually mascots are asked in the examination so do remember it okay and the event to be held in bangalore which was actually postponed due to the ongoing covid crisis last year will be the second edition of this khelo india university games and it includes yogasana and malla kham for the very first time okay next question which country won the icc women's world cup 2022 so recently australian team has defeated england by 71 runs in the final to win their record 7th icc women's cricket world cup okay next question which union ministry is associated with the foreign trade policy of india so director rate general of foreign trade which works under the aegis of ministry of commerce and industries is responsible for the foreign trade policy of india so recently the dgft announced that the existing foreign trade policy means 2015 to 2020 which is valid up to 31st of march 2022 is extended up to september 30 2022 after the outbreak of covid-19 the policy was first extended by one year to the end of march 2020 okay and now it has been further extended let's start which indian billionaire topped the huron richest self made woman in the world 2022 in the country so as per the huron richest self made woman in the world there are 124 self made women billionaires in the world now and it is down by 6 from last year fine so three indian women falguni nair of nike kiran mazumdar shaw of biocon and radha vembu of zoho feature in the latest huron list of women self made billionaires okay do remember that falguni nair overtook long time india's number one woman billionaire kiran mazumdar shaw to become the richest self made woman in india fine so correct answer is option number b next question which is the largest private sector bank of india by assets as of 2022 so hdfc bank and hdfc limited recently announced the merger of the two entities and hdfc bank which is the india's largest private sector bank by assets has a market cap of 8.35 trillion rupees okay so hdfc limited which is the india's largest housing finance company with assets under management worth 5.26 trillion rupees and a market cap of 4.44 trillion rupees and now it will merge with hdfc bank so the subsidiary or associates of hdfc limited will also be transferred now to the hdfc bank after regulatory approvals fine next question new is the name of a super application of which indian conglomerate so tata new is the super app of india's leading conglomerate tata group why to bring together all of its digital services and applications on a single platform so where is digital services of the tata group from air asia india air india taj group big basket west side will be possible through tata new application okay now in the next slide we'll see some of the important questions regarding applic next question which indian state launched she auto stands to provide safe transport to the women and girl students so the police department in chittor of andhra pradesh has set up she auto stands which is the first of its kind in the state 
and it aims to provide safe transportation to the women and the girl students so tirupati is the first city in the state to set up special auto stands for the women there okay also talking about andhra pradesh do remember that chief minister ys jagan mohan reddy digitally inaugurated 13 new district in the state and now andhra pradesh has total 26 states and all the new districts have come into effect from 4th of april so state government issued the official gazette notification for creating 13 new district under the andhra pradesh district formation act section 3 only thing you have to remember is earlier andhra pradesh has 13 district and now the number has increased to 26 next question which state implements the mukhyamantri bagwani bima yojana so haryana agriculture minister launched the portal of mukhyamantri bagwani bima yojana and under this scheme farmers will be compensated for the damage caused to their crops due to natural calamities okay so 21 crops including 14 vegetables two spices and five fruits are covered under the scheme and as per the agriculture department 10 crore rupees will be kept by the state government as initial capital for this scheme okay which indian space tech startup launched its first commercial satellite with a space access falcon 9 rocket So Indian space tech startup Pixel successfully launched its first fully fledged commercial satellite called as Shakuntala or you can say Pixel PD2 okay So the satellite was launched with Space Access Falcon 9 rocket aboard Space Access transporter 4 mission from Cape Canaveral in the US and the satellite hosts one of the highest resolution hyper spectral commercial cameras okay next question which indian has been appointed to the united nations high level expert group on net zero emissions commitments of non state entities so arunabha ghosh has been appointed by united nations secretary general antonio gutres to the high level expert group on net zero emissions commitments of non state entities so arunabha ghosh is the ceo of the council on energy and environment and water which is a climate and energy think tank so the expert group will be chaired by former canadian minister of environment and climate change catherine mckenna fine next question which indian state recently carved out 13 new district taking the total number to 26 so just i have told you that recently Chief Minister Y S Jagan Mohan Reddy from Andhra Pradesh has digitally inaugurated 13 new district in the state, and now the number has increased to 26. And it has been done under the Andhra Pradesh District Formation Act, Section 3, Clause 5. Okay. So last question: As of 2022, which country is the world's biggest opium producer? So Afghanistan is the world's biggest opium producer at present and recently the taliban announced a ban on the cultivation of poppy there in afghanistan so the production use or transportation of other narcotics was also banned and as per the united nation estimates afghanistan's opium production was worth 1.4 billion dollars in 2017 and it has been continuously increasing in recent months okay first question what is the theme of the national maritime day 2022 so india recently celebrated the 59th national maritime day which falls on 5th of april every year okay so this year theme was sustainable shipping beyond covid 19 and the first anniversary of the day was held in 1964 not very relevant to raise awareness about the international trade and economy okay so an award ceremony is also held to honor those who made important contributions to the indian maritime industry fine so only thing you have to remember is national maritime day is observed on 5th of april and theme was sustainable shipping beyond covid 19 next question who has been appointed as the new 
Foreign Secretary of India. So the Indian government has appointed Senior Indian Foreign Service Officer Vinay Mohan Quatra as the new Foreign Secretary. And currently he is serving as Ambassador in Kathmandu since January 2020. And he worked in Prime Minister's office from 2015 to 2017 and also he had earlier served as India's ambassador to France. So now Vinay Quatra will replace the incumbent foreign secretary Harsh Vardhan Shringla. Next question, Ricky Cage and Falguni Shah are the recent winners of which particular award? So two Indian musicians were among the winners of 64th annual Grammy Awards. And composer Ricky Cage won his second Grammy Award jointly with Stewart Copeland for their album named as Divine Tides. And Indian American singer along with songwriter Falguni Shah called as Falu won in the best children's music album category for her album A Colorful World. Fine. Next question. As per the data from Commerce Ministry, what was the India's merchandise export figure during 2021-22? So Commerce and Industry Minister Piyush Goel announced that India's merchandise export has risen to a record high of $418 billion in 2021-22. And this rise is due to the higher shipment of petroleum products engineering, goods, gems and jewellery and chemicals. So India's goods trade, both export and import, crossed $1 trillion during 2021-22 to and India's import also touched an all-time high of $610 billion. Okay? So export is 418, import is 610 and overall it has crossed $1 trillion. Okay? Next question. The Intergovernmental Panel on Climate Change, that is IPCC, in its recent assessment report mentioned which Indian city for sustainable transportation. So IPCC recently released the Part C of its sixth assessment report. And the main finding of the latest IPCC report is that the world must focus on reducing dependency on fossil fuel. And also report mentioned Kolkata in respect of shifting from private to public transport and it highlighted that the urban mobility transitions in Kolkata show the interconnected policy as well as institutional and socio-cultural drivers for socio-technical changes. Fine. Next question. Mission Integrated Biorefineries is an initiative of which Union Ministry? So Union Minister for Science and Technology, Dr. Jitendra Singh launched the Mission Integrated Bio Refineries. Why? To accelerate innovation for renewable fuels and chemicals for a low carbon future. So it is a kind of public private participation model initiative for clean energy. And the scheme was launched by Dr. Jitendra Singh in November 2021 at the COP26 event at the Mission Innovation Annual Gathering. Okay, so correct answer would be Ministry of Science and Technology. Since we are talking about clean energy here, so many people think that the answer can be Ministry of New and Renewable Energy, but no, it is Ministry of Science and Tech. Next question, which state-run company has partnered with Larsen and Tobro and Renew Power for a joint venture for the green hydrogen? So state-run Indian Oil Corporation, Engineering and Construction Major Larson and Tubro and Renew Power announced a joint venture company to develop the green hydrogen sector in India. And India plans to produce nearly 5 million tons of green hydrogen by 2030. And in the month of February, the center launched the country's first green hydrogen policy as part of its energy transition plan. Right. Next question, who is the head of the SEBI committee on strengthening of governance norms at stock exchanges? So capital markets regulator 
SEBI has constituted a committee for reviewing and making recommendations for further strengthening of governance norms at stock exchanges and other market infrastructure institutions. Okay. So the six member committee will be chaired by G. Mahalingam, who is the former whole time member of SEBI. And the other members include MD and CEOs of stock exchanges, NSE and BSE, and depositories, NSDL and CDSL, etc. Fine. Only thing important is who is the head of this committee? G. Mahalingam. Next question. Which Indian state or union territory has launched a project to set up hobby hubs in government schools? So Delhi government has decided to set up the hobby hubs in the government schools and it includes after school dance, music, arts and craft activities. So for the year 2022 to 23 academic session, this project will be implemented in single shift government schools. And the project aims to make optimum use of school infrastructure and to use it after school hours to promote extracurricular activities. Okay. You have to tell me the business cluster program is an initiative of which state or union territory. Prakriti, which was recently launched is the mascot to create awareness on which field. Union Environment Minister Bhupen Riyadav has launched Prakriti. A mascot that spreads awareness about small changes in life that can curb the plastic pollution. And also it highlights various green initiatives taken by Ministry of Environment, Forest and Climate Change and Central Pollution Control Board to ensure effective plastic waste management in the country. Okay. Next question. Which country has started a pilot project to produce green steel by burning hydrogen? So Sweden has launched a pilot project to reduce the carbon emissions involved in the steel production by switching some of the process from burning the coking coal to burning hydrogen. Okay. So hybrid technology which stands for hydrogen breakthrough iron making technology. It is a kind of joint venture between steel giant SSAB, mining company LKAB and Swedish state owned power firm Vattenfall. And as per the World Steel Association, every metric ton of steel produced emitted twice that much of carbon dioxide. Okay. Next question. Wagner Group is a private military company of which country? So Wagner Group is a private military company of Russia. And as per the British military intelligence, 1000 mercenaries from the Wagner group are being deployed to the eastern Ukraine. And this group has been active over the past eight years in Ukraine, Syria and various African countries. So repeatedly it has been accused of war crimes and human rights abuses. And this Wagner group first went into operation during the Russia's annexation of Crimea in 2014 okay next question which state has passed a resolution seeking completion of the satellite yamuna link canal so the haryana vidhan sabha has passed a resolution seeking completion of the satellite yamuna link canal and there has been a long pending dispute of sharing of river waters between haryana and punjab so to counter the resolution passed by the punjab vidhan sabha staking a claim on Chandigarh, Haryana Assembly unanimously passed a resolution and it demanded that the central government should not take any steps that would disturb the existing balance between the two states. Okay. Next question. Bucha, which was seen in the news recently, is a city located in which country? So after images of civilian bodies were found in the streets of Bucha city in Ukraine, there have been outrages across the world. And at the United Nations Security Council meeting on Ukraine, which was addressed by Ukraine's President Vladimir Zelensky, United Nations condemned the Bucha civilian killings and called for an independent probe. Okay. So do remember that this city belonged to Ukraine. Next question. Which state government formed a panel to frame the state education policy? 
So Tamil Nadu government recently formed a 13 member panel to frame the state education policy. And this panel is headed by Delhi High Court Retired Chief Justice D. Murugesan. And the panel members include education expert, writer S. Ramakrishnan, former chess world champion Vishwanathan Anand, and Carnatic musician T. M. Krishna, and etc. These are some of the important personalities in this panel. Okay. Next question. Which global alliance announced collaboration on hypersonic missile strike and defense capacity? So the United States, Britain and Australia announced that they would begin collaborating on hypersonic missile strike and defense capacity. And this is in response to their rivals, Russia and China, because they are advancing rapidly in the hypersonic technology. And the countries would work on hypersonics in an expansion of their AUKUS Defense Alliance. AUKUS is Australia, UK and USA. Okay. So this will equip Australia with nuclear powered submarines to counter the China's growing military activities. Fine. So answer would be AUKUS Defense Alliance. And also do remember that which countries are involved in this Australia, UK and USA. Next question. How many Indians feature in the Forbes Billionaires list 2022? So as per the Forbes Billionaires list of 2022, Indian billionaires increased to a record high of 166 from 140 last year with a combined wealth of $760 billion. Okay. So Reliance Industries Chairman and Managing Director Mukesh Ambani continues to stay on top of the list as the richest Indian with a net worth of $90.7 billion. And Tesla and SpaceX chief Elon Musk emerged as the richest person in whole world. Fine. Next question. Which company has handed over the first set of Gaganyaan hardware to the Indian Space and Research Organization? So the Hindustan Aeronautics Limited handed over the first set of Gaganyaan hardware to the ISRO. And the PS2 stage is the second stage of the PSLV in which propellants which can be stored in the earth are used for propulsion. Okay. So in the month of October last year, the heaviest semi cryogenic propellant tank whose name was SC120LOX ever fabricated by Hindustan Aeronautics Limited was delivered to ISRO. Okay. Last question. Iga Suvatik, who has become the women's Tennis Association world number one is from which country? So the 20 year old Iga recently became the first Polish player become the Women's Tennis Association world number one. And recently she won the Miami Open to become the first player to sweep the first three WTA 1000 events in a season. And she became the first teenager to win Roland Garros in 28 years in 2020 okay so answer is Poland let's start what is the theme of the World Health Day in 2022 so 7th of April is observed as World Health Day to celebrate the creation of World Health Organization in the year 1948 in the first health assembly so WHO leads the celebration to discuss health related issues and to draw attention to the specific health issues okay and the theme for this year is our planet our health fine next question which institution released the braving the storms east asia and pacific economic update report so this report has been released by world bank recently and as per the report there are three risks for the region first is financial tightening in the us Second is a structural slowdown in China and third is war that is going on in Ukraine. So April 2022 issue of the report suggests bold reforms to avert the risk and grasp the opportunities. Fine. Only thing you can be asked from this report is the report has been released by World Bank. Okay. Next question. The One Health Framework has been launched as a pilot project in which state? 
So Department of Animal Husbandry and Dairy has launched a pilot project in the state of Uttarakhand to implement the One Health Framework by One Health Support Unit. And the key objective of the unit is to develop a national One Health Roadmap which is based on the learnings of the pilot project implementation. Okay. Next question. International Monetary Fund has lauded which Indian scheme for preventing extreme poverty? So in a recent report, the International Monetary Fund has appreciated Pradhan Mantri Garib Kalyan Yojana and it highlighted that the program provided insurance to the poor and prevented an increase in the prevalence of extreme poverty in the country. So without any food subsidy, extreme poverty in the pandemic would have increased by 1.05%. Okay. Next question. Space launch system is a flagship rocket of which country? So US Space Agency, NASA, has started the testing of its giant flagship space launch system rocket. And also it is known as the wet dress rehearsal as liquid hydrogen and liquid oxygen will be loaded into the rocket. So this 322 foot rocket is expected to be the most powerful in the space history when it becomes operational. Okay. Next question. Which is the host country of COP28 Climate Summit 2023? So UAE has been selected as the host country of COP28 Climate Summit and UN Climate Summit is to held at Abu Dhabi. So Abu Dhabi announced that it would start banning single-use plastic bags from June and it plans to completely get rid of single-use styrofoam cups, plates and food containers by 2024. And also UAE has declared that it aims to achieve the carbon neutrality by the year 2050. Fine. Can you tell me which country is the host for COP27 Climate Summit in 2022? Do let me know in the comments. Next question. Which Indian public sector bank launched its digital transformation project called Sambhav? So Union Bank of India has recently launched its super application called Union Next and digital transformation project called Sambhav. So this project has been launched with an investment outlay of around 1000 crore rupees for the financial year 2022 to 23. And a banking super application combines several services such as payment, online shopping, bill payment, recharges, investment, loan and fund transfer on a single platform. Fine. Next question. Khanjar is a joint special forces exercise held between India and which other country? So India and Kyrgyzstan carried out a two week long joint special forces exercise in reflection of the growing defense ties between the two countries. And this exercise held at Daklo in Himachal Pradesh. So combat shooting, snipping, survival in mountains, hostage rescue, and unarmed combat were practiced during this exercise. Okay. Only thing you have to remember is Khanjar is the exercise between India and Kyrgyzstan and it recently took place in Baklo in the state of Himachal Pradesh. Right? Next question. Project Kuiper is a proposed project of which multinational technology company? So Project Kuiper is a flagship project of the ACE multinational technology company Amazon and it is Amazon's proposed internet from space initiative. So Amazon announced that it has booked new launches on three different rockets to get its satellite into the orbit and these satellites will fly on the rockets currently being developed by the European launch provider Ariane Space which is a kind of US based United Launch Alliance and Blue Origin. Right? Next question. Sarwal festival is predominantly celebrated in which Indian state? So this is the most popular tribal celebration across the state of Jharkhand region and it denotes the beginning of the new year. So this vibrant festival is celebrated at the beginning of spring season every year 
and this year it fell on 4th of April. Usually it is celebrated by the tribal communities of the local Sarna religion, especially by the Munda, Ho and Oran tribes, right? Who is the chairperson of the advisory committee to guide the semiconductor mission? So the Ministry of Electronics and IT formed a 17 member advisory committee to guide the 76,000 crore rupees semiconductor mission. And our Electronics and IT Minister Ashwini Vashna will be the chairperson of this committee. Also, Niti Ayog member VK Saraswat, Principal Scientific Advisor and Secretaries from the Ministry of External Affairs, Department of Expenditure, Economic Affairs and Promotion of Industry and Internal Trade will be the members of this committee. This would not be asked but yes, chairperson can be asked. Answer would be Ashwini Vashno. Okay. Next question. Which is the first state or union territory to include e-cycles in its electric vehicle policy? So Delhi government included electric cycles under its electric vehicle policy and it announced that it will offer a subsidy of 5,500 each to the first 10,000 buyers. And this will include both passenger and cargo e-cycles with a speed of less than 25 kilometers per hour. And the first 10,000 buyers will get 25% of the purchase incentive on buying the e-cycle as well. Okay. So do remember that e-cycles have been included in the electric vehicle policy of New Delhi. Fine. Next question. Exoplanet, whose name is this, which has been recently found, is a near identical twin of which planet? So astronomers have recently found a near identical twin of Jupiter, which is located at a similar distance from its star as Jupiter is from our Sun. And this exoplanet is located 17,000 light years from Earth and it has been detected by a team of astrophysicists using the data obtained by NASA's Kepler Space Telescope. So scientists use Albert Einstein theory of relativity and a method called as gravitational microlensing to spot this particular object. Okay. Next question. Which country is the world's largest producer and exporter of palm oil? So Indonesia is the world's largest producer and exporter of palm oil. At present, the country is facing a palm oil crisis due to Russia's invasion of Ukraine. Actually, Indonesia requires its exporters to set aside 30% of palm oil products for domestic use. But massive price spikes for food and energy caused by Ukraine war will push over 40 million people into extreme poverty now. And India, which is the world's biggest buyer of edible oil, relies on Indonesia for over half of its palm oil import. Okay. So obviously India will also suffer. Next question. Mission Raftar, which was seen in the news recently, was associated with which institution? So Mission Raftar introduced by the Indian Railways in 2016 to 17, targeted an average speed of 50 kilometers per hour for mail or express and 75 kilometers per hour for freight trains by 2021 to 22. And a recent audit by Controller and Auditor General of India found that travel time of trains has increased over the past few years and overall punctuality of trains has declined. So the punctuality of mail or express trains over the Indian Railway declined from 79% in 2012 to 13 to now 69.23% in 2018 to 19 at the terminating stations. Okay. So since this term was in use, so do remember that it was launched by Indian Railways in 2016 to 17. Next question. Ministry of Youth Affairs and Sports released $72,124 to which institution for elimination of doping in sport? So Ministry of Youth Affairs has released this much amount to UNESCO Fund for Elimination of Doping in Sport. And for the very first time in 2021, 
मिनिस्ट्री ऑफ यूथ अफेयर्स एंड स्पोर्ट मेड कॉन्ट्रीब्यूशन ऑफ ट्वेंटी डॉलर्स टूवर्ड्स द यूनेस्को फंड सो कॉपिन हैगन डिक्लेरेशन on anti doping in sport was agreed to by the government of india in 2003 and india is a signatory to the unesco anti doping convention as well okay so you have to tell me what is the full form of unesco next question international day of reflection on 1994 genocide against the tutsi in which country is observed on 7th of april by the united nations so on 7th of april UNESCO commemorates the International Day of Reflection on the 1994 genocide against the Tutsi in Rwanda and this day was established by the United Nations General Assembly in 2003 so this date marks the beginning of the genocide perpetrated against the members of Tutsi minority by the Hutu extremist led government and over 1 million Tutsi were systematically murdered along with moderate hutu and others who opposed the massacres fine next question which bank signed partial guarantee pact with asian development bank to support the supply chain financing so axis bank has collaborated with asian development bank for a partial guarantee program with the initial outlay of 150 million dollars and this program aims at supporting the supply chain financing for impact sectors so under this agreement special focus will be towards esg means environment social and governance and other priority sectors okay next question the new book the maverick effect narrates the formation of which indian institution so this book narrates the formation of nascom means national association of software and service companies which is the apex body of software and it service companies so it is authored by mr harish mehta who is the co-founder and first elected chairperson of nascom and at present the indian it industry is valued at 200 billion dollars and it directly employs more than 4 million people okay next question Which country launched the Earth Observation Satellite Gaofen 303? So China has successfully launched a new Earth Observation Satellite called as this by a Long March 4C rocket. And this satellite will become part of its land sea radar satellite constellation and capture fine resolution images to help the country safeguard its maritime interest. So this satellite will be networked with the Gaofen 3 and Gaofen 302 satellites. to form a land sea radar satellite constellation okay what is the real gross domestic product growth projection for 2022 to 23 as per the rbi's monetary policy april 2022 so reserve bank of india has maintained an accommodative stance and cut the real gdp growth projection for this financial year to 7.2% against the earlier projection of 7.8% okay and the inflation forecast has also been hiked from 4.5% to 5.7% and the reasons are excessive volatility in the global crude oil prices and extreme uncertainty over the evolving geopolitical tensions fine next question which is the nodal agency to implement the ayushman bharat pradhan mantri jan arogya yojana so the national health authority was set up to implement the pradhan mantri jan arogya yojana at the national level and the national health authority has recently launched a new version of the health benefit package 2022 under this particular yojana so it added 365 new procedures to take the total to 1949 and also it introduces differential pricing under the scheme based on the type of ct and the level of care okay next question which institution recently launched the avsar scheme avsar stands for airport as venue for skilled artisans of the region okay so recently the airport authority of india has launched avsar scheme and it aims to allocate space to the self help groups at its airport for selling or showcasing the self made products of their region so under this scheme an area of 
to 200 square feet has been earmarked at each airport authority of India operated airport for this purpose. Okay. Next question. Who is the head of the animation, visual effect, gaming and comic promotion task force? So Ministry of Information and Broadcasting constituted this ABGC promotion task force which will recommend a national curriculum framework for higher studies in this segment. Okay. So this ABGC promotion task force will be headed by the Secretary of Ministry of Information and Broadcasting and it will have the secretaries of Ministry of Skill Development and Entrepreneurship, Ministry of Education, Ministry of Electronics and IT and DPIIT. Okay. Next question, which institution released the Expanding Heat Resilience Report? So Natural Resources Defense Council that is NRDC has authored the Expanding Heat Resilience Report and as per this report, extreme temperatures are being recorded in Himachal Pradesh and in Kerala and the shocking thing is these are the states with no history of heat waves. So the number of states affected by heat waves was at 28 in 2019 and this is up from 19 in 2018 okay simply you have to remember that this report belong to NRDC next question which organization flight tested the solid fuel ducted ramjet booster so DRDO has flight tested the solid fuel ducted ramjet booster at the integrated test range Chandipur of the coast of Odisha so SFDR based propulsion enables the missile to intercept aerial threats at very long range even at supersonic speed and this has been developed by DRDO Defense Research and Development Laboratory Hyderabad and in collaboration with other DRDO laboratories okay next question which country supplies MH60 Romeo multi-role helicopters to India so India is procuring 24 MH60 Romeo multi-role helicopters as part of an 15,000 crore rupees deal with the US government and the first batch of the air crew of the Indian Navy has completed its training in the US to operate these MH60 multi-role helicopters. So these helicopters are manufactured by Lockheed Martin Corporation and it is an all-weather helicopter designed to support multiple mission. Okay. Next question. What percent of the domestic capital procurement budget is earmarked for the private industries? So the Defense Ministry has announced that 25% of the domestic capital procurement budget amounting to more than 21,000 crore rupees will be earmarked for private industries in the financial year of 2022 to 23 and 1500 crore rupees will be earmarked for procurement from the startup. So basically Ministry of Defense had earlier decided to earmark 68% of the capital procurement budget for the entire domestic industry during the financial year of 2020 to 23. Fine. Right? Next question. Which state government launched the corruption free application 1064? So Uttarakhand Chief Minister Pushkar Singh Dhami has launched the corruption free Uttarakhand app 1064 and this application aims to make the state corruption free and ensure that governance in the state is carried out in a transparent manner. So this application will be available in both Hindi and English. Correct answer is Uttarakhand. Next question, which is the first Hindi novel to be shortlisted for the International Booker Prize? So the book Tom of Sand became the first Hindi language work of fiction to be shortlisted for the International Booker Prize and author of this novel is Gitanjali Shiri. Okay. So this book translated into English by Daisy Rockwell will compete with five other titles from around the world for the prestigious £50,000 literacy prize which is shared between the author and the translator. Fine. Start. As per the RBI's recent notification, cardless cash withdrawal is proposed through which platform? So as per the RBI, cardless cash withdrawal which was offered only by a few banks will now be made available across all banks and ATMs via the UPI. UPI stands for Unified Payments Interface. 
So now UPI will be used for the customer authorization and this step is expected to enhance the ease of transaction and eliminate fraud. Okay. If anybody wants to cover this news in a detailed manner, we'll put a link in the description box from where you can check it out. Okay. Next question. Who has been elected as a 23rd Prime Minister of Pakistan after the no confidence motion? So Pakistan Muslim League leader Shehbaz Sharif was sworn in as the new Prime Minister of Pakistan after a no confidence motion was introduced against his predecessor Imran Khan. So he was elected unopposed after rival candidate Shah Mahmood Qureshi announced that his party will boycott the voting and staged a walkout. And talking about Shahbaz, he is the younger brother of former three-time Prime Minister Nawaz Sharif. Okay, so now he is the 23rd Prime Minister of Pakistan. Okay, next question. Which institution released the draft guidelines for settlement of payments for export or import through e-commerce? So Reserve Bank of India has issued the draft guidelines for settlement of payments for export or import through e-commerce and the guidelines cover buying and selling of goods and services including the digital products that are conducted over digital and electronic networks. So in the year 2009, RBI recognized the use of online mode of payment to merchants for goods and services, for example, bill payment, online shopping, etc. Okay. So correct answer is Reserve Bank of India. Okay. Next question. Jatin Goswami, Sonal Mansingh and Kalyan Sundaram are the recipients of which award or fellowship? Uh, so recently Vice President M. Venkaya Naidu has conferred the Sangeet Natak Academy Fellowship and Sangeet Natak Awards for the year 2018 on distinguished artist okay so the Sangeet Natak Academy Fellowship was given to four artists basically who are those Tabla Mastro, Zakir Hussain, dancer and choreographer Jatin Goswami, dancer Sonal Man Singh and dance teacher Kalyan Sundaram okay and 40 others were honored with Sangeet Natak Academy Awards and the Lalit Kala Academy Awards in the same event okay next question Deepika Pallikal who won the mixed doubles and women's doubles title recently plays which game so Deepika Pallikal teamed with Saurav Ghoshal in her first competitive event since October 2018 and clinched the mixed double title with win over England's Adrian Waller and Alison Waters Okay, so Deepika and Joshna Chinappa won in the women's doubles final against England's Sara Jane Perry and Waters. Okay, so Deepika achieved this feat less than six months after giving birth to two of the twins. Okay, so she is related to Squash. Next question Which state organized the National Judicial Conference on Mediation and Information Technology? So, President of India. Ram Nath Kovind has inaugurated a two-day National Judicial Conference on Mediation and IT being organized by the High Court of Gujarat. And the conference is being organized at Ekta Nagar, which is in Narmada district of Gujarat. And the president pointed out that mediation is yet to find wide acceptance across the country and he lauded the Mediator and Conciliation Project Committee of the Supreme Court for organizing the training programs right next question which state is the host of the meeting of the national tiger conservation authority in 2022 so the 20th meeting of the national tiger conservation authority was held in pakke tiger reserve in the state of arunachal pradesh under the chairmanship of union minister for environment forest and climate change mr bhupendra yadav so for the very first time in history, the NTCA meeting was held outside the national capital and the minister directed that these meetings will be held outside Delhi in forest areas or in tiger reserves. Why? In order to get first hand information about the reserve and the local issues. Okay. 
so host is also important and also don't forget that pakke tiger reserve lies in arunachal pradesh next question which is the first country to recognize the legal rights of individual wild animals so ecuador that is located in south america has made history by becoming the first country to recognize the legal rights of individual wild animals and the ruling by the top court in the country is believed to be the first time a court has applied the rights of nature to an animal which is a woolly monkey and the laws recognize the legal rights of ecosystem to exist and regenerate fine so with this ecuador has become the first country in the world to recognize the legal rights of individual wild animals fine next question who has been appointed as the new upsc chairman so a scholar of political science mr manoj soni has been appointed as the new chairman of upsc and he specializes in international relations and earlier he had served as the vice chancellor of dr baba saheb ambedkar open university and ms university of baroda also he was the youngest vice chancellor in independent india okay so now he is the new chairman of upsc next question which racing driver won the australian grand prix 2022 tournament so charles leclerc clinched victory in the australian grand prix to move into a commanding position in the world championship and second position was occupied by sergio perez who is from red bull and then third was mercedes driver george russell let's start which union ministry implements the pradhan mantri daksh yojana daksh stands for dakshata aur kushalta sampann hitgrahi yojana okay and this scheme is implemented by ministry of social justice and empowerment so it is a kind of national plan for the skilling of marginalized persons and the main objective of the scheme is to increase the skill levels of the target youth by providing long term and short term skills and then it is followed by an employment or self employment so around 2.71 lakh persons will be trained over next 5 years okay and 79.48 crore rupees has been allocated for 2021 to 22 fine next question which state or union territory launched the avsar portal under connect to opportunities initiative so the lieutenant governor of jammu and kashmir mr manoj sinha has launched the avsar portal under connect to the opportunities initiative by mission youth and this portal aims to provide real time information about the job opportunities that are available for the youth in the region so the online platform will act as an interface the industry and skilled workforce for the industry and skilled workforce in jammu and kashmir okay next question which state assembly adopted a resolution against cuet that is central universities common entrance test so tamil nadu assembly has adopted a resolution urging the union government to drop the proposal of cuet and as per this resolution this cuet which is similar to neet sidelined the marginalized students so basically university grants commission announced that from the academic year 2022 to 23 admissions to various courses in all the central universities would be done only through cuet which is to be conducted by the national testing agency okay so correct answer is tamil nadu next question what type of missile is helena which was recently tested by the drdo so this is a kind of anti tank guided missile and this is the helicopter launched version of the nag missile so recently it was tested in the northern high altitude mountain regions and earlier it was also tested in the desert regions of pokhran so this helena missile system that has been developed by drdo has all weather day and night capability and it can defeat the battle tanks with conventional as well as explosive reactive armor okay so this system has been developed for the integration with choppers in both the army and in 
एयर फोर्स फाइन नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन नेशनल सेफ मदरहुड डे इज सेलिब्रेटेड इन इंडिया ऑन इलेवेंथ ऑफ अप्रैल व्हिच इज द बर्थ एनिवर्सरी ऑफ विच फेमस पर्सनालिटी सो द गवर्नमेंट ऑफ इंडिया इन द ईयर 2003 डेजिग्नेटेड इलेवेंथ ऑफ अप्रैल एज द नेशनल सेफ मदरहुड डे टू मार्क द बर्थ एनिवर्सरी ऑफ कस्तूरबा गांधी एंड दिस डे इज मार्क एनुअली इन इंडिया एंड इट एम्स टू रेज अवेयरनेस अबाउट द केयर रिक्वायर्ड बाय द प्रेगनेंट वुमेन बिफोर ड्यूरिंग एंड आफ्टर द चाइल्ड बर्थ सो दिस डे इज एन इनिशिएटिव अंडरटेकन बाय द वाइट रिबन अलायंस ओके नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन हु टॉप द फोर्स थर्टी सिक्स एनुअल वर्ल्ड बिलियनाइट्स लिस्ट ऑफ ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी टू सो दिस लिस्ट वॉज रिलीज and it listed 2668 billionaires of the world including 236 new comers so elon musk topped the world's billionaire ranking for the first time ever with an estimated net worth of 219 billion dollars jeff bezos and bernard arnold followed elon musk after that okay so this year also marked the largest number of billionaire drop off since the 2009 financial crisis next question amar mitra who was awarded with this year's o henry prize is an author of which language so bengali author amar mitra was awarded with this year's prestigious o henry prize for his short story named as gaon buro So it is a Bengali short fiction written by the author in 1977 and the Adivasi culture of the state and their struggle is the background to his award winning story. Also do remember that he was awarded the Sahitya Academy award in 2006 fine. Right? Next question Japan International Cooperation Agency is set to fund which state to upgrade the health infrastructure through a 3800 crore rupees project. so already i have told you the assam cabinet has approved this much amount to upgrade the health infrastructure in the state which is to be funded by japan international cooperation agency so this will comprise super specialty wings in the six existing medical colleges and the overall infrastructure would also be upgraded also swasthya bhavan for training come monitoring will be constructed and a hospital managed information system will be also developed okay next question india signed a new space situational awareness arrangement with which country so india and usa finalized the signing of a new space situational awareness arrangement during the 2 plus 2 ministerial dialogue which was being held at washington so us and india have finalized the major bilateral initiatives on information sharing and joint service engagements to support high end combined operations fine next question which country is the host of the 2026 commonwealth games so australia's victoria state will host the 2026 commonwealth games which is a kind of multi sport gathering for mostly former british colonies and four of the last five editions were held in australia or in britain and the 2026 games will be spread across four regional hubs in the state and do remember that english city of birmingham will host the 2022 edition from 28th of july okay let's start as per the world trade organization what is the estimated global trade growth in the 2022 to 23 fiscal year so the world trade organization revised down its forecast for the global trade growth in this fiscal year to 3% from earlier 4.7% and slash is because of the impact of obviously russia ukraine war and also the world trade organization has warned of a potential food crisis caused by the surging prices okay and also it forecasted that the global trade growth in 2023 would rise again up to 3.4% fine next question swanidhi se samriddhi program is an initiative of which union ministry so the union ministry of housing and urban affairs 
लॉन्च द स्वनिधि से समृद्धि प्रोग्राम इन 126 एडिशनल सिटीज अक्रॉस 14 स्टेट्स एंड यूनियन टेरिटरीज एंड स्वनिधि से समृद्धि विच इज एन एडिशनल प्रोग्राम ऑफ प्रधानमंत्री स्वनिधि वॉज लॉन्च लास्ट ईयर इन 125 सिटीज अंडर द फर्स्ट फेज एंड इट कवर्स अराउंड 35 लाख स्ट्रीट वेंडर्स एंड देयर फैमिलीज ओके सो दिस स्कीम बेसिकली एम्स एट प्रोवाइडिंग an affordable working capital loan to the street vendors fine next question which indian armed force sort canister launched anti armor loiter munitions that is calm system so indian army is seeking additional indigenously developed smart loiter munitions that can be employed along western and northern borders okay so these type of munitions are a mix of surface to surface missile and a drone and the army has projected a requirement of 150 such weapons which are based on the calm system okay important thing is you have to remember what is the full form of calm it can be asked in your exams okay next question which organization procures raw rice from the indian states so the food corporation of india that is fci has an agreement signed with every state for the procurement of raw rice and recently the telangana government has been the center to procure paddy from the state at the minimum support price to aid farmers as well as parboiled rice so telangana which is a dcp means decentralized procurement state should supply the raw rice to the central pool as per the fci fine next question Which country has been hit by tropical storm Maggi? So Philippines has recently been hit by tropical storm Maggi, and the death toll from landslides and floods after the storm rose to fifty-eight. So over one lakh people in southern and eastern Philippine islands have been affected by the storm, and villages around Bay Bay City in the central Leyte province are worst hit by this storm. Okay. Next question Asian Development Bank signed an agreement with India to offer 2 million dollars for urban development project in which particular state So the ADB signed an agreement with the government of India to offer the 2 million dollars project readiness financing loan for designing climate resilient urban infrastructure there in Nagaland and this agreement aims to strengthen the institutional capacity and improve the municipal resource mobilization in the state of nagaland fine next question which is the venue of the national conference on cooperation policy so the national conference on cooperation policy was recently organized in new delhi and minister of home affairs and cooperation mr amit shah addressed this conference so he has stressed the need for a new cooperative policy in the country and not only this also he has announced that the center will come up with a new policy which will address the issue of primary agricultural credit society to apex the cooperative federation fine next question which indian city has been recognized as one of the three cities of the world in 2022 so for the second consecutive year hyderabad has been recognized as one of the three cities of the world and it is a tag presented by arbor day foundation and food and agriculture organization of united nations okay so over 3.5 crore trees have been planted over the last two years according to the certification of recognition given to the city next question indian army marks the siachen day on 13th of april every year every year to commemorate which operation so indian army marks the siachen day on 13th of april every year to commemorate the courage of the indian army under operation meghdoot so in the year 1984 the indian army gained control over the dominating heights on the main passes of the saltoro rich siala and bilafond la so the siachen glacier is the highest battle ground on the earth while both india and pakistan maintain the permanent military presence in this region next question zero covid policy which was seen in the news recently 
is associated with which country. So amid the growing global criticism over its zero COVID policy, China has defended its strict coronavirus measures that have resulted in hardship in several Chinese cities. So the global financial hub Shanghai is claimed to be the worst hit by the strict measures. And earlier, the European Union Chamber of Commerce in China said that COVID lockdowns have caused significant disruptions for many companies. Okay, let's start. The Pradhan Mantri Sangrahale Museum is located in which city? So Prime Minister Narendra Modi has inaugurated the Pradhan Mantri Sangrahale, which is a museum that has been dedicated to all the Prime Ministers of the country since independence. Okay, so Prime Minister's Museum comprises of total 43 galleries and there are displays from the freedom struggle and the framing of the constitution as well. So this Sangrahale basically highlights the achievement of the Prime Ministers, fine. Right? So this lies in New Delhi. Next question. Which union ministry implements the Rashtri Gram Swaraj Abhiyan? So Prime Minister of India, Narendra Modi has launched the Rashtri Gram Swaraj Abhiyan, the transformation of aspirational district program under the Ministry of Panchayati Raj. So this was approved in the year 2018 and it aims to transform the selected district and it would help 2.78 lakh rural local bodies to achieve the sustainable development goals. And the union cabinet has approved a financial outlay of 5,911 crore rupees for the Rashtri Gram Swaraj Abhiyan. Okay. So it approved the continuation of the centrally sponsored scheme from 1st of April 2022 up to March 31, 2026. Okay. So this was the main thing why this scheme was in news. Fine. Next question. Who has been awarded the International Gandhi Award for Leprosy 2021? So Vice President M. Venkaiya Naidu presented the International Gandhi Award for Leprosy to Dr. Bhushan Kumar from Chandigarh and Sahayog Kushtitha Yagna Trust from Gujarat. And this annual award was instituted by Gandhi Memorial Leprosy Foundation. And the National Leprosy Eradication Program has been trying to ensure total eradication of leprosy in India. Okay, next question. Which Indian state announced to celebrate the birth anniversary of Dr. Bhimrao Ambedkar on 14th of April as Equality Day? So Tamil Nadu Chief Minister M.K. Stalin has announced in the Legislative Assembly that the birth anniversary of Dr. Bhimrao Ambedkar on 14th of April would be celebrated as Equality Day from this year. And also he said that a pledge would also be taken across the state on the day and the government also plans to translate and publish some of the selected books of Ambedkar in Tamil language. Okay. Next question. CBIC has notified exemption from custom duty and agriculture infrastructure development says on which project. So the Central Board of Indirect Taxes and Customs has notified the exemption from the custom duty and agriculture infrastructure development says for the import of raw cotton and this exemption would benefit the textile chain means yarn fabric garments and made-ups and provide relief to the textile industry and consumers also industry has been demanding for removal of 5% basic customs duty and 5% agriculture infrastructure and development says on the raw cotton earlier okay next question which Indian state has recently slipped into a power crisis due to shortage of coal? So Punjab slipped into a power crisis due to a shortage of coal and against the installed capacity of 5680 megawatt of thermal power plants, only 3150 megawatt power is being generated. So several power plants including Talwandi Sabo power plant and that at Goindwal Sahib were operating at reduced load or shutdown with no coal to operate it. Okay. 
नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन विच इंस्टीट्यूशन हैज अनाउंसड द टू पॉइंट टू मिलियन डॉलर इन क्लाइमेट एक्शन ग्रांट फॉर द लोकल इनोवेटर्स सो द यूनाइटेड नेशन डेवलपमेंट प्रोग्राम एंड पार्टनर्स ऑफ द अडेप्टेशन इनोवेशन मार्केट प्लेस हैव अनाउंसड टू पॉइंट टू मिलियन डॉलर इन द क्लाइमेट एक्शन ग्रांट्स फॉर ट्वेंटी टू लोकल इनोवेटर्स अक्रॉस द नाइनटीन कंट्रीज इंक्लूडिंग इंडिया एंड दिस इनिशिएटिव एम्पावर्स द लोकल एक्टर्स एंड कॉन्ट्रीब्यूट्स टू द प्रिंसिपल्स फॉर लोकली लेड एक्शन विच हैव बीन एंडोर्स बाय यू एन डी पी एंड द पार्टनर्स अराउंड द वर्ल्ड सो दिस फंडिंग विल बेसिकली इनहेंस द लोकल क्लाइमेट एक्शन एंड एक्सेलरेट द डिलीवरी ऑफ टारगेट्स ऑफ द पेरिस एग्रीमेंट एंड द सस्टेनेबल डेवलपमेंट गोल्स फाइन नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन विच इंडियन चेस प्लेयर वन द ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी टू रेडिया so indian grandmaster pragyananda r recently won this tournament in iceland do you remember that pragyananda is the fifth youngest person in the world to achieve the title of grandmaster in the year 2018 okay next question who is the first indian cricketer to hit 10000 runs in t20 cricket for men so team india and mumbai indians captain rohit sharma has become the second indian batter to complete 10000 runs in the t20 crickets for men and virat kohli became the first indian batter to score the 10000 t20 runs last year while west indies legend chris gale was the first cricketer in the world to reach the five figure mark in t20 cricket and rohit sharma achieved this historic milestone during the match against the punjab kings okay let's start The e Sanjeevni facility is set to be launched at which institution to ensure the coverage in remote areas. So to cover maximum number of people from the remote areas, the government has planned to launch the teleconsultation facility called e Sanjeevni at 1 lakh Ayushman Bharat Health and Wellness Centers. Okay? So the health ministry announced that on the occasion of the 4th anniversary of Ayushman Bharat health and wellness center e sanjeevni teleconsultation facility will be launched at total 1 lakh center fine next question the supreme court directed which institution not to exclude the candidates with color blindness from its courses so the supreme court of india has directed pune based film and television institute of india not to exclude the candidates who suffer from the color blindness from its courses on film making and editing okay and also it has asked to make changes to its curriculum instead so supreme court was hearing a plea by a candidate whose admission in 2015 for post graduate diploma in film editing at ftii was recalled after the institute found he is a color blind okay next question chenna keshwa temple which was seen in the news recently is located in which state so this temple in belur belur is in karnataka continued with its age old tradition of starting the chariot festival after reciting passages from the quran by a molvi and the karnataka endowment department allowed the temple authorities to go ahead with the practice so hundreds of people from across the state visited this temple to witness the two day festival recently fine next question Which department released the National Time Release Studies as recommended by World Trade Organization? So Vivek Johari, who is the chairman of Central Board of Indirect Taxes, presented a set of time release studies that has been conducted by the department. So this TRS is a kind of performance measurement tool for examining the cargo clearance process of the international trade as recommended by the World Trade Organization. and this is done under the trade facilitation agreement and the world customs organization okay so correct answer is cbic next question which country has successfully tested a new laser missile defense system iron beam so israel has successfully tested a new laser missile defense system called iron beam which can intercept several aerial objects starting from missile rocket anti tank missile and even drones 
So this item beam, which is developed by the Rafale Advanced Defense System, is using the directed energy weapon system. And Israel is set to begin using the system within a year. Okay. Next question. Which Indian state is the host of the FIH Hockey Men's World Cup 2023? So Odisha is the host of this World Cup in 2023. And this tournament is scheduled from 13th to 29th of January at Bhubaneswar and Rorkela. So the state's chief minister Naveen Patnaik recently unveiled the official logo of this tournament and the country's largest hockey stadium is being constructed in Rorkela as well. Fine. Next question. Which Indian private sector bank launched its new enterprise portal FYN? So Kotak Mahindra Bank recently announced the launch of Kotak Fin which is its new enterprise portal exclusive for business banking and corporate clients. So the bank's customers can use this portal to carry out all trade and services transaction and it offers a dashboard to track the utilization of transaction limits on a real-time basis, access to past transactions and upcoming transaction events, etc. Fine. Next question. Which Indian economist has been selected for the 2022 Malcolm Adisashiya Award? So veteran economist Prabhat Patnaik has been selected for this award. And this award is annually given by the Malcolm and Elizabeth Adisashiya Trust to an exemplary social scientist. So Prabhat Patnaik was born in Odisha, has taught at the center of economic studies and planning in the School of Social Sciences at Jawaharlal Nehru University in New Delhi. And also he has served as the Vice Chairman of Kerala State Planning Board. Fine. Next question. What is the theme of the Sapka Vikas Mahakuis conducted by my government? So my government under the Ministry of Electronics and IT organized the Sapka Vikas Mahakuis series. And this is the country's biggest ever quiz contest which aims to build awareness among the citizens about the government's various developmental and welfare schemes and good governance. So recently it was launched with the inaugural quiz on Pradhan Mantri Garib Kalyan Anna Yojana. Okay. And the theme for this was Atmanirbhar Bharat. Okay. Next question. Which organization manufactured Dornier 228 aircraft, the first made in India commercial plane of Alliance Air. So Alliance Air's made in India Dornier 228 aircraft has taken its first commercial flight on Dibrugarh Pasigarh route. And this was being operated by Indian Air Force and it has been manufactured by Hindustan Aeronautics Limited in India. So Alliance Air to function as independent business unit and it is no longer an Air India subsidiary. Fine. Okay. Let's start. Which Union Ministry launched the Either portal? So the Ministry of Roads, Transport and Highways has developed this portal called Either, and Dar stands for Detailed Accident Report. Okay. So digitalized DPRs will be uploaded on the portal for easy access, and also it was announced that the web portal will be linked to the integrated road accident data this so it will basically provide instant information on the road accident and it would help in accelerating the accident compensation claims okay so the full form is important and don't forget that this is related to ministry of roads transport and highways fine next question which country supplies s-400 air defense missile system to india so india has received simulators and other equipment for the training of the S-400 Air Defense Missile Squadron from Russia. And the equipment including simulators, study materials and documents have arrived for the S-400 Training Squadron which will be set up to train the Indian Air Force personnel. So this recently delivered system does not include missiles or weaponry. Okay, next question. Which state government has announced 300 units of free power for households in the state every month? So the Punjab government has announced 
300 units of free power for household in the state every month and the people will have to pay the full bill if their usage exceeds 600 units in two months. So people who are belonging to scheduled caste, backward caste, below poverty line households and the freedom fighters will be charged only for the usage over and above 600 units. Fine. Next question. The second statue of Hanumanji Chardham project has been inaugurated in Murvi in which state? Actually on the occasion of Hanuman Jayanti, Prime Minister Narendra Modi unveiled a 108 feet statue of Lord Hanuman in Gujarat's Morbi district. So it is the second of the four statues being built in the four directions across the country as a part of this particular project and the first statue of the series was built in Himachal Pradesh, Shimla in the year 2010. So the work on the third statue in the south at Rameswaram has already started. Right? Next question. After Air India disinvestment, Alliance Air works under the control of which institution or company? So Alliance Air was founded in the year 1996 as a wholly owned subsidiary of then Indian Airlines which later was merged with Air India. And it was a part of Air India before the latter's disinvestment and mainly operates on the domestic regional routes as part of government's regional connectivity scheme. But it was announced that Alliance Air will no longer be part of Air India and now it will be run as an independent business unit under the government of India. So correct answer is Ministry of Civil Aviation. Fine. Next question. Which cricketer has been appointed as the brand ambassador for Karnataka Brain Health Initiative? So the Karnataka state government in association with Nim Hans and Niti Ayok launched the Karnataka Brain Health Initiative in the month of January. And Indian cricketer Robin Uthappa has been recently appointed as the brand ambassador for this initiative. And training of doctors and preparations to start brain health clinics in three pilot hospitals has also commenced. Fine. Next question. Which state or union territory celebrated its first ever beach festival IC Pondi 2022? So this festival has been celebrated recently in Pudu Cherry and it was celebrated for four days in different beaches there. So the beach festival includes various cultural events and contests to be held in the beaches. Fine. Next question. What is the theme of the National Fire Service Day 2022? So National Fire Service Day commemorates the 71 fire service personnel who lost their lives during a massive explosion at Mumbai Dockyard in 1944. So the government of India also honors the fearless firefighters on the National Fire Service Day who have done extraordinary work in their service. And this year theme was learn fire safety, increase productivity. Okay. Next question. State-owned NHPC signed a memorandum of understanding with which state for development of green hydrogen. So state-owned NHPC has signed this MOU with the district administration of Chamba in Himachal Pradesh for the development of green hydrogen technologies to produce hydrogen. And this project will be implemented by NHPC Renewable Energy Limited, okay, which is a wholly owned subsidiary of NHPC. And the research and development department of NHPC and Chamira 2 power station of NHPC will also be part of this project. Fine. Next question. Which team won the men's title in the 71st Senior National Basketball Championship? So Tamil Nadu has defeated the state Punjab in the men's final of 71st Senior National Basketball Championship while the Indian Railways team won the women's title and it has beaten Telangana. Let's start. Samia Sulhu Hassan, who was seen in the news recently, is the first female president of which country? So she is the first female president of Tanzania, which is the largest country in East Africa region. And also this country is known for the Kilimanjaro National Park. 
So currently she is the only female head of government in Africa. So why she is in news? Because recently she met Kamala Harris, who is the first woman of color to be vice president of US. And this meeting is now expected to pull more investor towards Tanzania. And unlike the previous president, Samia Hassan encouraged the COVID vaccinations by publicly taking the shot herself. Okay. Next question. When is the World Hemophilia Day observed across the world? So World Hemophilia Day, which is marked on 17th of April annually, is dedicated to raising awareness about hemophilia and various type of other inherited bleeding disorders. Actually, hemophilia is a kind of inherited genetic disorder in which the blood's capacity to clot is substantially impaired, causing one to bleed excessively even from minor injuries. So the World Federation of Hemophilia began observing this day since 1989 to honor the WFH founder Frank's birthday. Okay. Next question. Which country designates the countries as the state sponsor of terrorism based on their support to acts of terrorism? So basically US Secretary of State has the power to designate the countries that have repeatedly provided support for the act of international terrorism as the state sponsors of terrorism. Okay. So Ukraine's president Vladimir Zelensky has asked the US president Joe Biden to designate Russia as a state sponsor of terrorism and as of now there are four countries on the list of state sponsor of terrorism which are these four countries first is Syria second is Iran third is North Korea and fourth is Cuba now Ukraine wants Russia to be in this list okay next question the foreign exchange management act that is FEMA rules have been amended to allow the dash percent of FDI in LIC. So the government has amended the rules of FEMA, paving the way for up to 20% FDI in LIC now. So the government is planning to dilute its stake in LIC through the initial public offering. And after the cabinet approval, the Department for Promotion of Industry and Internal Trade amended the FDI policy to facilitate overseas investment in LIC okay and SEBI has also given approval to the draft papers of LIC okay next question which country has signed a deal with Rwanda to relocate the asylum seekers so the UK signed a deal with Rwanda to send some asylum seekers to the East Africa country to eliminate human trafficking so Prime Minister Boris Johnson said that anyone entering the UK illegally may now be relocated to Rwanda and the United Nations said that the deal raised several human rights concerns and as part of the pilot scheme the UK paid the Rwanda 120 million euros for housing and integrating the migrants okay next question which global payments company is associated with the world's first crypto backed payment card so crypto lender Nexo has partnered with the global payments company MasterCard to launch the world's first crypto backed payment card and this card which is available in selected European countries initially it now allows the users to spend without having to sell their digital asset such as Bitcoin and the card can be used at 92 million merchants worldwide where MasterCard is expected where MasterCard is accepted and it allows the investors to spend up to 90% of the value of their crypto asset. Okay. Next question. Which country launched the Zoom Zing 6D communication satellite? As the name itself says that this country can be only China. So China National Space Administration launched the two missions on the same day of successful landing of its longest astronaut mission yet. So a long march 3D rocket lifted off carrying the Zoom Zing 6D which is a special communication satellite for radio and television program. So this satellite will provide HD videos, radio and television broadcast services across the South China Sea, Southeast Asia and Pacific Island countries. So a long march 4C rocket 
launched a new atmosphere monitoring satellite into its orbit. Okay. Next question. Stephen Oz Tsitsipas, who won the Monte Carlo Masters 2022, is a tennis player from which country? So Greek ace tennis player Stephen Oz became the sixth man in the open era to defend his title at the Monte Carlo Masters 2022. And he has defeated Alejandro Fokina. And this victory marked his eighth ATP Tour title and his second Masters 1000 title. Currently, he is at the rank of world number five in the WTA list. Okay. Next question. D. Vishwa, who passed away recently, was an ace player of which game? So 18 year old top table tennis player from Tamil Nadu, D. Vishwa was killed in road accident while on his way to Shillong to participate in the 83rd Senior National Championship. And he won the youth under 19 boys single title in the national ranking tournament in January last year and finished as runner up in the South Zone ranking tournament in December 2021. So this is just very shocking. Okay. Next question. Durban, which has been hit by storms and heavy rains, is a city in which country? So South Africa's eastern region has been hit by more rain after the deadliest storm stroke the country and it has killed nearly 400 people and left tens of thousands homeless. Left thousands of people homeless. So recovery operations and humanitarian relief are underway in the Durban city of 3.5 million people. Okay. Also the government has announced 1 billion rand means 68 million dollars in emergency relief funding okay so correct answer is south africa let's start al-aqsa mosque sometimes seen in the news is located in which city so in a recent violence that was occurred during the jewish festival of passover which coincided with the muslims observing ramzan over 17 palestinians get wounded and this incident occurred at Jerusalem's Al-Aqsa Mosque compound. And earlier, at least 152 Palestinians were injured during the clashes with Israeli riot police. And the clashes follow high tensions over the weeks between the Palestinians and Israelis. Okay, So all this happened after the attacks in Israel and deaths of Palestinian civilians during the raid in the West Bank. Okay. So, Al-Aqsa Mosque lies in Jerusalem. Okay. Next question. Who is the first officer from the Corps of Engineers to become the Chief of Army Staff of India? So, Lieutenant General Manoj Pandey appointed the new Chief of Army Staff and he will succeed General M. M. Narwani. Okay. So, the Vice Chief of Army Staff, Lieutenant General Pandey, is the first officer from the Corps of Engineers to become the chief of army staff and he has commanded the operation Parakram in the Palanwala sector of Jammu and Kashmir along the line of control and also he has been conferred with the award of Param Vishisht Seva Medal. Then Vishisht Seva Medal, chief of army staff commendation and Ati Vishisht Seva Medal etc. Next question, which is the first state in India to get the L root server to provide the digital services with seamless internet connectivity? So Rajasthan has become the first state in the country to get the L root server, which will basically enable the state government to provide its digital services and implement the e-governance with seamless internet connectivity. So this new facility will strengthen the internet infrastructure as well as it will also help to improve security of internet based operations. Okay, so correct answer would be Rajasthan. Next question State of the economy is the flagship report of which institution? So, the Reserve Bank of India, in its flagship State of the Economy report, said that the surge in commodity prices is posing inflation risk amidst the surging import. So, though the strength of underlying Fundamentals and the stock of international reserves provide the buffer, but still, it is rapidly widening the trade and current account deficit 
that is coexisting with portfolio capital outflows and hence these are at risk to the external sustainability fine so you do not need to cover so much depth of this report only thing you have to remember is this is the report of reserve bank of india fine next question which city is the host of smart cities smart urbanization conference so the smart cities smart urbanization conference is organized by the union ministry of housing affairs and urban affairs in association with surat smart city corporation development limited at surat actually in the india smart cities award contest 2020 surat and indore received award at best city and uttar pradesh was awarded as the best state so several initiatives were launched including the urban outcomes framework 2022 data portal called amplify and output outcome dashboard for the smart cities mission okay next question which institution organizes the national cyber security incident response exercise so the national security council secretariat is organizing the national cyber security incident response exercise for the government official and national security advisor mr ajit doval has inaugurated the national cyber security incident response exercise and the participants will be trained on various key cyber security areas such as malware information sharing platform vulnerability handling and penetration testing network digital forensic etc okay next question vidya samiksha kendra or command and control center 2.0 is located in which state so prime minister narendra modi recently visited the command and control center set up by the education department of gujarat and this center or you can say vidya samiksha kendra was inaugurated in gandhi nagar in the year 2021 and it is a kind of surveillance system which tracks the enrollment attendance learning outcome dropouts school accreditation etc and also it monitors the schools teachers block and cluster resource center coordinators means what type of activities are going on in the school as well okay next question ankita raina rutuja khosle riya bhatia and sojan bavisetti are associated with which sport so the indian women's tennis team that comprises of all these players have finished third at the billie jean king cup 2022 so after losing against japan and china in their initial group matches ankita raina led the team bounced back and won a third straight victory against indonesia new zealand and finally south korea okay next question who is the author of the boy who wrote a constitution which was recently released so this book was written by noted playwright and the author rajesh talwar and this is a kind of children drama which is based on ambedkar's own recollection of his childhood and it was released on the occasion of dr bhim rao ambedkar's 131st birth anniversary okay so two things are important this book has been written by rajesh talwar and it is to dedicate bhimrao ambedkar next question shinku la pass which was seen in the news recently is located in which state so the border roads organization will construct the world's highest tunnel at shinku la pass at 16580 feet to connect the himachal pradesh to ladakh so bro director general Rajiv Chaudhary stated this while opening the strategically important Himachal to Zanskar road at Shinkula Pass. So center has launched project Yojak of BRO to implement this ambitious project. Okay, so correct answer would be Himachal Pradesh. Let's start. What is the food grain production target announced for the crop year 2022 to 23? So the National Conference on Agriculture Kharif Campaign 2022. was recently inaugurated by union agriculture minister narendra singh tomar and during this event the government has announced a food grain production target of 328 million tons for this 
financial year. So Kharif food grain production target has been fixed at 163.15 million tons while Rabi food grain production target has been kept at 164.85 million tons. So total food grain production has increased by 25% in the last 6 years from 251 to 316 million tons. Okay. Next question. National Apprenticeship Mela has been organized under which mission? So Skill India in association with the Directorate General of Training is organizing a day long apprenticeship mela across the country in more than over 700 location and aim is to support hiring of more than 1 lakh apprentices and also it will assist employers in hiring the right talent and develop it further with training and providing the practical skill set okay next question which state launched its space tech framework and hosted the launch event on metaverse so telangana launched its space tech framework to promote the domestic production of the launch vehicles not only launch vehicles satellite system and subsystem ground equipment manufacturing and other facilities and also it was the first ever official government event to be hosted on metaverse actually metaverse environment was developed along with avatars of key participants including industries and it ministers for example niti ayog ceo mr amitabh kant isro ex chairman k7 etc next question donbas which was seen in the news recently is a region in which country? Actually, Russian President Vladimir Putin's forces have attacked a front stretching more than 300 miles as it advances to take control of the Donbas region. And thousands of Russian troops backed by artillery and rocket barrages were advancing in this region and the Ukrainian officials called it as a battle of Donbas. So UN Secretary General Antonio Guterres called for a four-day humanitarian pause in this fighting, okay? So, answer is Ukraine. Next question. India's first portable solar rooftop system was inaugurated at which city? So, India's first portable solar rooftop system was inaugurated at Swami Narayan Akshar Dham Temple Complex in Gandhinagar in the state of Gujarat. So, this installation of 10 PV port systems in the temple complex is supported by the German Development Agency and the systems have been installed under Ministry of New and Renewable Energies initiatives to develop the renewable energy cities across India. Okay. Next question. Which is the first country to announce a ban on missile test against the space satellite? So US has become the first country in the world to do so and US Vice President Kamala Harris who chairs the National Space Council announced that the debris created by such tests present a risk to the safety of astronauts and satellite and many countries including US, China, Russia and India have carried out such tests and generated space debris. Fine. Next question. Which Indian chess player won the La Roda International Open Chess Tournament? So young Indian Grandmaster D. Gukesh clinched the victory in the 48th La Roda International Open Chess Tournament and he is from the state Tamil Nadu. So D. Gukesh has defeated Victor who is from Israel and at third place it was R. Pragnanantha who is another youngest grandmaster. Okay. Which country's central bank introduced a new payment system called Hello? So amid the ongoing war against Ukraine, the central bank of Russia has added a new payment system called Hello to its National Register of Credit Institution. And this payment system is a collection of the payment services and institutions that makes the money transfer easier. So its payment infrastructure services will be operated by the Russian Commercial Bank, Trans Capital Bank, which has a stake in the European Bank for Reconstruction and Development, German Investment Corporation, DEG, and international finance corporation etc okay the last question which institution is associated with advisory committee on leveraging regulatory and technology solutions so market regulator SEBI has 
reconstituted its alerts and the seventh member panel will now be headed by Sunil Bajpayee who is the former principal advisor information technology at the Telecom Regulatory Authority of India. Fine. Let's start. Which company delivered the Scorpion class submarine INS Vakshir to the Indian Navy? So Defense Secretary Mr. Ajay Kumar has launched INS Vakshir which is the 6th Scorpion class submarine under the project 75. So it has been named after the sand fish which is a predator of the Indian Ocean. So the Mazagon dockyard has already developed 4 Scorpion class submarine under this project to the Indian Navy which are these first is INS Kalwari then second is INS Khanderi after that third is INS Karanj and the fourth one is INS Vela okay and the fifth submarine called Vajir is under the trial at sea and it is said to be commissioned before the end of 2022 okay next question which city is the host of the Global Ayush Investment and Innovation Summit 2022? So Global Ayush Investment and the Innovation Summit 2022 was organized by the Ayush Ministry to seek investment into the sector and to develop India as a hub for the traditional medicine practice. Okay, So it is organized in the city of Gandhinagar in the state of Gujarat. So Ayurveda, Yoga, Naturopathy, Yunani, Siddha and Homeopathy. All of this together made Ayush Ministry and recently it has received letter of intent from 28 companies amounting to 6,000 crore rupees. So this will help to create over 5.5 lakh jobs across the country. Okay. Next question. India's first pure green hydrogen plant has been commissioned in which state? So the Oil India Limited commissioned India's first 99.999% pure green hydrogen plant in the state of Assam. And OIL, which is the second largest national production and exploration pump, commissioned this green hydrogen plant at its Jorhat pump station. And the plant has an installed capacity of producing 10 kgs of hydrogen each day. And also it is India's first plant to use the Anian exchange membrane okay next question after bhutan and singapore national payments corporation of india has expanded to which country to offer the upi based payments so the international arm of npci named as nipl means npci international payments limited has entered the uae market by partnerizing with neo pay which is the payment subsidiary of maastricht bank so Bheem UPI service has been made live on Neopay terminal. So this partnership will now offer unified payment interface based payment for the Indians who are traveling to these region. So this is the NPCI's third search international expansion after Bhutan and Singapore. Okay. Next question. SARS campaign which was seen in the news recently is associated with which disease? First of all, what does SARS stands for? It is social awareness and action to neutralize pneumonia successfully listen once again social awareness and action to neutralize the pneumonia successfully okay so this was launched by union health ministry to ensure greater awareness and early detection of pneumonia in the children so recently what happened is karnataka health and medical education ministry launched this sars campaign in the state to ensure early detection of pneumonia in the children who are under 5. So it aims to reduce the pneumonia mortality to less than 3 per 1000 live birth. Actually pneumonia is a lung infection that is caused by bacteria, virus or fungus. Okay. Next question. India celebrates the Civil Services Day to commemorate the address of which leader to the administrative services officers. Actually every year on 21st of April, the government of India celebrates Civil Services Day to commemorate the day in 1947 when Sardar Vallabhai Patel, who is the first Home Minister of Independent India, addressed the probationers of Administrative Services Officers in Delhi. Okay, So in his famous speech, he referred to the public workers as the steel frame of 
India and the first such celebration took place in the year 2006. So Prime Minister's Award for Excellence in Public Administration is awarded during the occasion annually. Okay. So correct answer would be Sardar Vallabhai Patel. Fine. Next question. Arjun Halakurki, Sunil Kumar and Neeraj who were seen in the news recently are associated with which sport? Actually in the Asian Championships which was being held in Ulaanbaatar which is actually the capital city of Mongolia, Greco-Roman wrestlers Arjun Halakurki, Sunil Kumar and Neeraj won the bronze medals. And five more Greco categories freestyle and women's wrestling are yet to follow in this competition. So this category is seen as a weak link in Indian wrestling as no Greco-Roman wrestler qualified for Tokyo. Okay, So correct answer would be they are related to wrestling. Next question, who has been appointed as the principal scientific advisor to the Indian government in 2022? So veteran physicist Mr. Ajay Kumar Sood has been appointed as the principal scientific advisor to the government of India. And as per the personal ministry order, Sood, who is the member of Science, Technology and Innovation Advisory Council to the Prime Minister, has been appointed to this post for a period of three years. And he will succeed the incumbent PSA and renowned biologist K. Vijay Raghavan. Next question. Which country tested the intercontinental ballistic missile Sarmat? So Russia has recently tested its new intercontinental ballistic missile called Sarmat and this Sarmat is claimed to be able to carry 10 or more warheads and decoys. So it has the capability of firing over either of the earth's poles with a range of 11,000 to 18,000 kilometers and Sarmat has been named after nomadic tribes who were in the present day southern Russia, Ukraine and Kazakhstan. Fine. Next question. How many Indians featured in the 2022 edition of Wisdom 5 Creators of the Year list? So India's captain Rohit Sharma and ace player Jaspreet Bumrah have been honoured by Wisdom as two of the five cricketers of the year. So they were named along with the New Zealand opener Devon Conway, England pacer Ollie Robinson and South Africa woman captain Dane Van Nieker. Okay. Do remember that England skipper Joe Root was named as leading cricketer in the world in the 2022 edition of Wisden Cricketers Almanac. So correct answer is 2. And names are also important Rohit Sharma and Jaspreet Bumrah. Let's start. Which institution has released a draft battery stopping policy for the electric vehicle? So government think tank Niti Aayog has prepared a draft battery stopping policy to support the adoption of battery swapping mainly in the electric scooters and three-wheeler electric rickshaw. Okay. So under this policy, Niti Aayog has proposed to offer incentive to the electric vehicles with swappable batteries along with subsidy to the companies who are manufacturing swappable battery. Okay. And also a new battery as a service business model and standard for interoperable batteries would also be incentivized. Fine. Next question. Which institution partnered with UNICEF India on sustainable development goals with a focus on children? So again, government think tank Niti Aayog and UNICEF India signed a statement of intent on sustainable development goals with a focus on children. So this statement of intent seeks to formalize a framework for cooperation to launch the first report on the state of India's children status and trends in multidimensional child development. Fine. Next question. When is the World Creativity and Innovation Day celebrated every year? So World Creativity and Innovation Day is celebrated every year on 21st of April and it is marked to raise the awareness of the role of creativity and innovation in all aspects of human development. So United Nations General Assembly adopted a resolution to celebrate this day in 2017 and the theme for this year is collaboration okay next question Phobos is the natural satellite or moon of which planet so the Perseverance Mars rover of NASA has captured the eclipse involving Mars and it captured the Phobos 
which is the Mars potato shaped moon or satellite crossing the face of the sun. So the eclipse was captured with Perseverance Mast Cam Z camera and it lasted a little above 40 seconds shorter than a solar eclipse involving the Earth's moon as Phobos is about 157 times smaller than the Earth's moon. Also to remember that Deimos which is the Mars and other moon is still smaller. Okay. Next question. Who has been conferred the United Nations Environment Program Champions of the Earth Lifetime Achievement Award? So the United Nations Environment Program has awarded David Attenborough the Champions of Earth Lifetime Achievement Award. So he is the veteran English broadcaster and biologist and he has been honored for his dedication to the research, documentation and advocacy for the protection of nature and its restoration. Also, he is known for his work with the BBC's Natural History Unit. Okay. Next question. As per the RBI guidelines, what is the minimum net owned fund required for the non-banking financial companies to issue the credit card? So, as per a recent notification from the central bank, non-banking finance companies will need approval from the RBI to issue their credit card and any finance company including the non-deposit taking will require a net owned fund of 100 crore rupees for entering the credit card business and also the regional rural banks can issue the credit cards in collaboration with their sponsor bank or other banks okay and also further financially sound scheduled urban cooperative banks with minimum net worth of 100 crore rupees which are core banking system enabled can issue the credit cards subject to some conditions as well. Next question. Nobel Prize winner Jos Ramos Horta has won the presidential election of which country? So Timor Leste is a Southeast Asian nation that occupies half the island of Timor with Delhi as its capital. So Nobel Prize winner Jos Ramos Horta has scored a landslide victory in the country's presidential election recently and he secured 62% votes against Francisco Guterres. Fine. So now the new president of Timor-Leste is Nobel Prize winner Jos Ramos Horta. Next question. Which city is the venue of the first ever Incredible India International Cruise Conference 2022? So India would host the first ever Incredible India International Cruise Conference 2022 in the month of May and the Mumbai Port Authority would host the event in India's financial capital that is in Mumbai on 14th to 15th of May. So the first of its kind of iconic sea cruise terminal would be commissioned by Mumbai by July 2024 and Union Minister for Ports, Shipping and Waterways Mr. Sarbanand Sonowal also launched the event's website and unveiled the event logo and mascot which was named as Captain Cruzo for this event. Okay. Next question. Which multinational company has announced to provide grant to protect the mangrove ecosystem in Maharashtra's Raigad? So Apple Inc. has announced to protect the 2400 hectare mangroves ecosystem in Maharashtra's Raigad district. And with a grant from the Apple, Applied Environmental Research Foundation will work with the local community to protect the mangrove forest there. So Apple's grant will support the restoration of mangroves across a 50 hectare area where they have been degraded. And also it will distribute the portable bio stoves that allow the people to cook without cutting down mangroves for the firewood. Okay. Next question. Which country conducted the first open air trial of genetically modified mosquito? So Oxitec, which is a UK based biotech firm, initially founded at Oxford University, released the genetically modified mosquitoes in an effort to curb the wild mosquito population. And Oxitec had already tested the genetically modified mosquitoes in the field in Brazil, Panama, Cayman Islands and Malaysia. But this was the first open air trial of genetically modified mosquitoes in the US. Okay, let's start. Who has been appointed the new vice chairperson of Niti Aayog in April 2022? So Dr. Suman 
K. Berry has been appointed as new vice chairperson of Niti Aayog and he will succeed Dr. Rajiv Kumar as per the Ministry of Personal, Public Grievances and Pension. So Dr. Suman K. Berry had served as the Director General of National Council of Applied Economic Research which is a leading non-profit policy research institution and also he has served as a member of the Prime Minister's Economic Advisory Council, National Statistical Commission and Reserve Bank of India's Technical Advisory Committee on Monetary Policy. Okay, next question. India Out campaign is associated with which country? So the President of Maldives, Mr. Ibrahim Mohammed Saleh, issued an order banning the India Out campaign. So it was led by former President Yamin. The campaign actually accuses the Maldivian government of allowing the Indian military presence in the island nation. So President Saleh has opted for an India first foreign policy and the Maldives National Security Council announced its decision that the campaign to incite the hatred against India is a threat to our national security. Fine. So India out campaign belongs to the country Maldives. Next question. India has recently agreed to develop an alliance for bioenergy and biofuels with which country? So the Brazil Minister of Mines and Energy paid an official visit to India on the invitation of the Minister of Petroleum and Natural Gas, Mr. Hardeep Singh Puri. So the leaders reviewed the existing bilateral cooperation across the energy sector and they committed to enhance the partnership between the two countries. And also these two sides agreed to work towards developing an India-Brazil alliance for bioenergy and biofuels. Fine. Next question. As per the official data, which state generated the most biomedical waste per day in 2020? So the Ministry of Environment data shows that the country generated 651.23 tons of biomedical waste per day in 2020. And after the COVID-19 pandemic outbreak, the daily BMW output rose by about 962.31 tons in just two years. So 60% of this waste generated daily during this period was COVID related and Kerala has generated about 40.41 tons of this waste in 2020 while Maharashtra, Karnataka, Tamil Nadu, Gujarat and Uttar Pradesh also lead in this waste generation. Next question. Kishore Kumar Das, who has been chosen for Commonwealth Points of Light Award, is from which country? So the founder of educational charity, Vidya Nando, Kishore Kumar Das from Bangladesh has been chosen for the Commonwealth Points of Light Award, which basically recognizes the outstanding individual volunteer. So he has been selected for his exceptional work in improving the access to education for the children from marginalized background and for this purpose, he runs five primary schools which provide free education and meal program for the vulnerable students. Fine. Next question. The United Nations celebrates English Language Day on 23rd of April in honor of which English author? So UN celebrate English Language Day on this day every year in honor of English playwright William Shakespeare as the date marks both his birthday and the day of death. So the United Nations observes the language days for each of its six official languages to celebrate multilingualism and cultural diversity. Also, UN Spanish Language Day is observed on 23rd of April, means on same day, to pay tribute to the Spanish writer Miguel Saavedra. Okay, next question. As per a recent NABAR study, farmers of which state borrowed the largest amount per farmer? So as per a recent study, an average farmer of Punjab state borrows four times the amount than his counterparts in Uttar Pradesh and over five times his counterparts in Maharashtra. So this study was conducted by NABARD in collaboration with Bharat Krishak Samaj on recent farm loan waivers by the three state government. And a marginal farmer in Punjab borrows 3.4 lakh rupees annually as compared to 84,000 rupees in UP and in Maharashtra it is 62,000 rupees and also their dependence on non-institutional sources was also the highest okay next question 
which country won the Lock Shields 2022 Cyber Defense Exercise. So Finland won the Lock Shields 2022, which is the world's largest and the most complex international cyber defense live fire exercise, which is to be organized by NATO Cooperative Cyber Defense Center of Excellence. Okay. Next question. Which institution announces the class of young global leaders? So the World Economic Forum announces the class of young global leaders, which includes researchers, innovative entrepreneurs, activists, and promising political leaders who are between the ages of 30 and 40. So the Indians featuring in the 2022 list are Aam Admi Party leader, Mr. Raghav Chadha, Mutual Fund CEO, Radhika, Gupta, Athlete Mansi Joshi, Bharat Pay CEO Suhel Samir, and after that, Innovation 8 co working founder Ritesh Malik, Sugar Cosmetics CEO Vinita Singh, and Global Himalayan Expedition CEO Jadeep Bansal. Okay. So the names are not that much important but only thing you have to remember is this has been announced by world economic forum next question indian century signed memorandum of understandings on the nuclear energy partnership and the global innovation partnership with which country so i think this is a repeated question we have done it earlier correct answer was uk which institution conducts the all india household consumer expenditure survey so the all india household consumer expenditure survey is conducted by the national statistical office at every five years so this survey which helps to arrive at estimates of poverty levels is set to resume this year after a prolonged break so since 2011 to 12 india does not have any official estimate on per capita household spending and it used to arrive at the estimates of poverty levels and to review the economic indicators like GDP, etc. And the government has scrapped the findings of the last survey that is 2017 to 18 for data quality issue. Okay. Next question. Which is the venue of the Kelo India University Games 2021 being held in April to May 2022? So the Kelo India University Games is being hosted in Bangalore from 24th of April 2022 up to 3rd of May 2022 and over 4,500 participants from 190 universities across the country are competing with each other at the Kelo India University game. So the athletes will participate across 20 different sports including indigenous sports as well for example Yogasana and Malla Khamba. Okay. And what is the mascot of this game? It is Veera, which is a kind of elephant. Fine. Next question. Dudhwani, India's first community radio station, has been inaugurated in which state? So Prime Minister Narendra Modi has inaugurated a community radio station named as the Dudhwani, which has been dedicated to animal husbandry. And it has been set up at Gujarat. And this radio station will connect over 5 lakh dairy farmers across 1700 villages in the state also to remember that this is the country's first community radio station that has been dedicated to the cattle breeders okay next question which country accounted for 82 percent of all malaria death in the southeast asian region so the world malaria report of 2021 of the world health organization shows that india accounted for about 82% of all malaria deaths in the southeast region. However, it is the only high burden country to sustain a reduction in the malaria disease burden. And we observe the World Malaria Day on 25th of April every year. And this year theme was Harness Innovation to Reduce the Malaria Disease Burden and Save lives okay so this was the whole theme for this day next question which global institution is associated with the digital services act which was seen in the news recently so the european parliament and 
European Union member states had reached a political agreement on the Digital Services Act. So it is a kind of landmark legislation to force the big internet companies to act against the disinformation and illegal and harmful content. And also it aims to provide better protection for the internet users and their fundamental rights. So it will apply to a large category of online services from simple websites to internet infrastructure services and the online platform. Okay. So correct answer is European Union. Next question. Pranahita Pushkarlu is a famous festival celebrated in which Indian state? So this is a mega river festival that is dedicated to worshipping the Pranahita which is a tributary of the river Godavari in the state of Telangana. So this festival was celebrated for the first time following the creation of Telangana state and it started at the venues created on the shores of Pranahita. Okay. So over 6 lakh devotees from Telangana, Andhra Pradesh, Maharashtra, Chhattisgarh and Karnataka took part in the 12 day long festival. Okay. Only thing important is this is the festival from Telangana. Next question. Pali. India's first carbon neutral panchayat is situated in which state or the union territory? So Pali which is situated in Jammu and Kashmir's border district of Samba recently became the country's first carbon neutral panchayat. And Prime Minister Narendra Modi recently dedicated to the nation a 500 kV solar plant that has been installed in a record time of nearly 3 weeks. So under the gram Urja Swaraj program, 1500 solar panels will provide in a total area of 6408 square meters will provide the clean electricity to 340 houses in the model panchayat. Okay. Next question, which is the venue of the India Art Fair 2022? So just we have talked about it. It is the biggest event for Indian art and artist that focuses on trade and networking. Okay. And this is the 13th edition of India Art Fair, which is to be held in New Delhi. Right? Next question. Which union ministry has partnered with the United Nations Development Program for the localization of the Sustainable Development Goals? So the Union Ministry of Panchayati Raj and the United Nations Development Program have signed an agreement to collaborate in the areas of knowledge sharing and strengthening the localization of the Sustainable Development Goals. Okay, so this partnership will help in focusing on Panchayati Raj institutions, which is actually a critical component of local self governance while planning and implementing the programs. Okay, next question Which state's e proposal system has won the Champion Project Award in the UN WSIS Prizes 2022? So, the e proposal system of Meghalaya's planning department has won this prestigious award where at World Summit on the Information Society Forum Prizes. Okay. So this system is a part of Meghalaya Government's flagship program, Meghalaya Enterprise Architecture. And Meghalaya's project was awarded as champion project in the category, the role of governments and all the stakeholders in the promotion of ICTs for the development. Okay. Which billionaire has a struck? A deal to buy the global microblogging platform Twitter. So the word of top microblogging company Twitter has agreed to a 44 billion dollars takeover offer from the billionaire Elon Musk. And Elon Musk is the world's richest person according to the Forbes magazine with an estimated net worth of 273.6 billion dollars. And also he runs the electric vehicle maker Tesla and the aerospace firm space x ray right? next question what is the rank of the india in the cipri data on global military expenditure in 2021 so according to new data on global military spending that has been published by cipri what does cipri stands for stockholm international peace research institute the total global military expenditure has increased by 0.7 percent in 2021 and now this value has reached to 2113 billion dollars so this was the seventh 
consecutive year that the spending has increased and it is the first time that it has crossed 2.1 trillion dollars fine so the five largest spenders in 2021 were the usa then china after that india fourth is uk and then russia and together they account for 62% of expenditure okay so what would be the india's rank it is third fine next question india has agreed to set up a trade and technology council along with which global association so india and the european union recently agreed to establish a trade and technology council and such a decision to set up the council is the first for india with any of its partners and second for the european union after the first was done with usa and the council will serve as a strategic mechanism to address the challenges of ensuring the technology and security amidst the rapid geopolitical changes by right? next question which state has passed the bills to transfer the governor's power in appointing the vice chancellors of state universities to the state so the tamil nadu assembly has passed two bills that seek to transfer the governor's power in appointing the vice chancellors of 13 state universities to the state government now and as per the state government the bills were required as the governor was disregarding the state government's opinion on the appointments of vice chancellor and this argument was also made by the state such as maharashtra and the west bengal in the past okay next question which country's panel designated india as the country of particular concern so united states commission on international religious freedom which is an independent and bipartisan american government agency has recommended for the third year in a row that india should be designated a country of particular concern and it is the category of governments that perform most poorly on religious freedom criteria okay so as many as 15 countries were recommended for this designation in its annual report including pakistan china iran north korea russia saudi arabia etc okay so correct answer would be usa next question which space company organized the first ever all private crewed mission to visit the international space station so space x dragon capsule named as endeavour and the ax1 crew launched a top on space x falcon 9 rocket on 8th of april and with this it became the first ever all private crewed mission to visit the station so this ax1 mission has left the international space station so this mission was organized by hostin company axiom space and it is led by lopez alegria who is a former nasa astronaut okay next question which union ministry implements the unnat bharat abhiyan 2.0 actually in the year 2018 the ministry of human resources and development also called as ministry of education launched the unnat bharat abhiyan 2.0 and it has completed now four successful years so it was launched with the vision to bring the transformational change in the rural development process and upa 2.0 is the challenge mode of unnat bharat abhiyan program where all the higher education institutions are required to willingly adopt at least five villages right next question who won the 2022 laureus world sportsman and sports woman of the year award so formula 1 world champion max verstappen and jamaican olympic sprint queen elaine thompson hara have been named as 2022 laureus world sportsman and laureus world sports woman of the year respectively also italian men's football team won their second laureus team of the year award while the global tennis sensation emma duducanu received the laureus breakthrough of the year award fine next question how many medals did india win in the asian wrestling championship 2022 so the indian team ended its campaign at asian wrestling championship 
with a total of 17 medals in which one was gold, five were silver and 11 were bronze. Okay. So on the final day, India's freestyle wrestler Deepak Punya and Vicky bagged the silver medal and bronze medal respectively and Indian team won in all the categories of Greco-Roman, women's freestyle and men's freestyle. Okay. So correct answer would be 17. Next question. What is the theme of the World Intellectual Property Day 2022? So this day is celebrated on 26th of April to raise awareness of the impact of how patents, copyright, trademarks and design affect our daily life. And headquarters of World Intellectual Organization lies in Geneva in Switzerland and it is one of the 15 specialized agencies of the United Nations. So theme for this year is IP and youth innovating for a better future. Fine. India has announced to set up the transmission interconnection for transfer of renewable power with which country. So India and Maldives are planning to set up a transmission interconnection for the transfer of renewable power between the two countries. Why? To facilitate the energy transition program of Maldives. Okay. So during the meeting between our power minister R.K. Singh who is also the minister of new and renewable energy and his Maldives counterpart, the leaders have proposed two memorandum of understandings, one on energy cooperation and another on transmission interconnection under one sun, one world, one grid. Okay. So your correct answer would be Maldives. Next question. Which Indian state has recently signed Memorandum of Understandings for the Development of Seven Ropeway Project? So the government of Himachal Pradesh has signed Bees MOU for the development of seven ropeway project where in Kangra, Kullu, Chamba, Sirmor and Vilaspur district of the state. And this MOU was signed between the ropeways and Rapid Transport System Development Corporation, HP Limited and the National Highways Logistic Management Limited for the development of these ropeways as innovative transport solution there in Himachal Pradesh. Okay. Next question. What is the total export of finished steel from India in financial year 2022? So the Ministry of Steel recently announced that the country has exported 13.5 million tons of finished steel which amounts to nearly 1 trillion rupees and we have imported steel of around 46,000 crore rupees and also India recorded an all-time steel high consumption at around 106 million tons and production at 120 million tons okay so government of India has launched production linked incentive scheme to produce a specialty steel in our country as well. Fine. Next question. Which country provided Star Streak missiles and Stormer armored missile launchers to the Ukraine amidst the Russian attack? So the United Kingdom has recently provided Stormer armored missile launchers to Ukraine in a bid to stop the Russian army which has begun a full-scale offensive in eastern Ukraine. So this missile can be mounted on these launchers to attack the aircraft okay so the star streak missile has reportedly shot down a russian attack helicopter recently fine next question which country organizes han kuang han glory war games so taiwan military forces recently announced a date for its han kuang war game and the commanders also insisted that the conflict in ukraine would factor into the exercise so these war games simulate defending their island from the Chinese attack and over 23 million people of Taiwan live under constant threat of an invasion by China. Also China had announced that this self-ruled democratic island to be part of its territory and it is to be retaken one day by force if necessary. Okay. Next question. Which Indian state has announced to provide 900 rupees per month for the farmers for rearing the indigenous cow? So as per the Chief Minister of Madhya Pradesh, Shivrat Singh Chauhan, now the state government will give 900 rupees per month for the farmers 
for rearing the indigenous cows to promote the natural farming and another objective of this scheme is to deal with the problem of stray cattle which has become an issue of concern for the farmers in madhya pradesh so there are about 8.5 lakh stray cattle in the state according to the 20th livestock survey and to support the natural farming the state will appoint five workers in every block who will motivate the farmers to take up the natural farming fine can you tell me cow tax plan is the initiative of which state do let me know in the comments next question which country is the host of the 21st world congress of accountants in 2022 so institute of chartered accountants of india is set to host the 21st world congress of accountants for the very first time in 118 years of its existence so this is held every 4 years since it was started in 1904 so this event will be held in november 2022 in the newly built geo world convention center in mumbai so about 6000 top accountants from 130 countries will participate in this program directly and over 10000 will join virtually and the theme of this event would be building trust enabling sustainability okay next question world immunization week is observed every year in which month so the world health organization organizes the world immunization week between 24 to 30th of april every year and as per the world health organization increasing awareness about the vaccines and closing immunization gaps would protect millions of people worldwide from the vaccine preventable diseases okay so after global efforts there were just 6 cases of polio caused by the white polio virus in 2021 so correct answer would be april month fine okay. next question under section 144 of code of criminal procedure crpc 1973 who is authorized to issue orders to prevent the danger or nuisance so recently what happened is the administration of uttarakhand's haridwar district have recently imposed prohibitory orders under section 144 of the crpc 1973 and supreme court had asked the uttarakhand government to ensure no untoward situation or unacceptable statements during a maha panchayat that was planned by hindu religious leaders and this section empowers a district magistrate a sub divisional magistrate or any other executive magistrate empowered by the state government to issue orders to prevent apprehended danger or nuisance okay so correct answer would be district magistrate next question who has been appointed as the new chairperson of nascom nascom stands for the national association of software and services companies so recently it has announced the appointment of krishnan ramanujam as its chairperson for 2022 to 23 and currently he is serving as the president at tata consultancy services and vice chairman of nascom so he succeed rekha m menon chairperson and senior md of accenture in india also don't forget that anant maheshwari who is the president of microsoft india has been appointed as nascom vice chairperson for 2022 to 23 fine 